Welcome to Dungeons and Dungeons, another week. Last time, the Chosen were in search of more answers to the madness, the clauses here, and to what is going on with the frost emanating in the Frostborn's religion. Uh, you guys shout out to the Frozen Fortress. You got information about the Frostborn and what's going on with this strange poem that you received reading at a wall hidden inside the mountain that you guys interacted with uh, when you took down the fire giant. Someone's echoing. Um, I can hear an echo. Why do I hear an echo? It's okay. I'll deal with it later. Uh, from there, you guys traveled northward until you ran into the goat who was devouring or stealing uh, direwolves, and you bargained with him to stop that. You helped free some direwolves, and you said you'd bring him some goodies. He then uh, decided to be following you, and you've begun your journey after a teleport to, uh, as far as you could see again, using the mortem teleport method. Get going on your journey as you guys teleport forward to the next location. Uh, you can see a giant underneath the snow, a giant like hill that's clearly in this flat area covered in snow, sticks out like a sore thumb. That clearly that's not supposed to be there. Does it uh, give off a vibe that it is a structure or a living thing? It looks like something is underneath the snow. Um, it looks like a giant ball. How far away is it? It's probably about 10 feet in front of uh, where you guys just teleported. Oh. I'm going to go look. Okay. Um, as you come close to it, you can see that it's like... Uh, the snow is piled up onto the surface, sort of resembles that of a boulder. Uh, do you touch it? Does it look like a nice boulder? Yeah. <laughs> it's not just a boulder. It's a rock. It's a rock. Um, is it moving at all? Give me a perception check. <laughs> Nine. I don't think so. Looks like just a big old ball in the snow. I put my hand on it. Um, as you put your hand on it, it goes in a little bit. And then you do feel some warmth underneath. And all the snow begins to fall off as you awaken what appears to be the ram as it turns around and goes, Hail the darkness! Oh, yep. I'm going to take a couple steps back make sure he's not stealing shit. Uh, he has his one big googly eye looking at you right now over, and you see a point of recognition on you, and he sits back down and just staring at the group. All right. <clears throat> well, seems like he found his way with us. It's early in the morning. It's like 8 a.m. You all had a nice long rest, and it's the first teleport of the day. Um, do you guys continue on your journey, knowing that this is uh, following you? Yep. I mean, we knew it would. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, like, th we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure there are plenty of other magical ruins that are much easier to plunder than this. Make a persuasion check at disadvantage. Mm hmm because those runes didn't promise him something. <laughs> well, no. He seems unwavering <laughs> in his determination. Adul is all comments this at a distance, hoping to persuade <clears throat> such an evil entity to go away. Um, fun time. Each of you... Um, over the course of the next couple of days as we do these teleport games, it gets to roll a die, a 1d10. Uh, it didn't start as a 1d10, it is now a 1d10. Uh, I'm not trying to copy Matt. He can go away. But... This man's doing random encounters? Oh my goodness. What a, what an unoriginal concept. <laughs> random encounters? Uh, no, I, I'm making fun of him because he always says he hates how Matt does random encounters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
He does <laughs> random pointless encounters. Uh, he just like you accidentally go on to you, you fight a band of orcs. It's on the table. My shit is not normally as wackadoo. It's normally still plot driven. So everyone's gonna take turns doing this as we go through the days. It's gonna take you a number of weeks to get there. Who wants to go first? I'll say I say Mosnell because he's been leading us for the most part. All right, Mosnell, give him, roll one d ten. One d ten. You got. It. Not all these are popular, wow. Who's that guy? Not gonna take 10 hours. Without the glasses on. <laughs> Freaking stud out here. Oh, God. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Four. Wow. I hate you. <laughs> four. <laughs> What's wrong with four? <laughs> just... Purple worm. Ugh. All right, anyway. Uh-oh, that, um... that's the froster ask. Shit. <laughs> Oh, no. No, I didn't put that on there yet. <laughs> uh, as you guys are going, Mosnell, you can hear a, a grumbling in a familiar tone. And as you uh, go to investigate it, you actually see a couple frost giants uh, with this large-ass sleigh. And they have a whole bunch, like a, a um, mammoth on it, on the sleigh right now that they've uh, killed, and they're bringing it back to skin to one of their homes, and one of them has it over, and another one looks and he looks at you and he's like, oh, oh, oh. oh, I recognize you! You help free me! <laughs> it's the Chosen! The other one's like, oh, hot damn, uh, I'm still hungry though, I don't really care. And he goes up to me, <laughs> and he looks up to you, Maz, and I was like, whoa! What are you doing out here? Uh, we are going up to the the half moon point. Um, there's answers that we need there. Full moon point. You don't speak giant. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Half moon point. <laughs> I've never heard of half moon point. Is that one of uh, the new locations? I believe it's a ruin. A, a very ruin. old ruin. Oh, well, it might be older. The only one we know about is a full moon point. It's uh, a little bit on our way towards our home. We can uh, give you a ride if you want for a bit. If that's you where you are headed. You know what? <laughs> that's, that's the one. Oh, it well, you never know. Maybe it's a half a moon at this point. Time uh, changes uh, things. Uh, you know, er- er- erosion and 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 stuff. It's a big cliff, a lot of snow. <laughs> sure. Erosion and stuff. <laughs> Solid. Solid. They got these giant, like, freaking ice clubs in their hands, too. He's like, oh, well, well, sure, let's make some room. He turns around and half smacks the dead, excuse me, mammoth head, just moves it over a little bit. It's like, you guys can get on here. It's literally like the size of a ship. Oh, he's, wow. He's like, yep. you guys, he puts his hand down, he's like, if this group wants to get on, I promise I won't crush you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, come on. Everybody, let's get on. Mosnell is talking in giant with what? the frost giants that you, um, oh yeah, you went ahead. So, Mosnell comes back to the group brings him over and there's a frost giant with its hand open and there's a giant sled with the mammoth and you all have an idea of the situation that's unfolding and Mazen I'll let you know that um, some of us would probably recognize the frost giant yeah yeah all of you should actually recognize one of the frost giants you saved other than Tellius right Right. (laughs) he probably Mm -hmm. you saw the frost giants at the moot though no you weren't at the Uh, moot no you weren't no <laughs> All right. So, um, All right. did you guys get on? Yeah. They're heading the yeah. same direction we are? Yep. Yep. All right. Free ride. Let's go. Uh, for part of the way, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, sidebar, did we stock up on food and water before we. Yeah, we did up? like general supplies and stuff for so we, at least not, a bit of a journey. We're not in a position where we have to worry about food, food and water. Not yet. You guys not did not particularly, and you also can make it, so that's why they didn't stock up heavy yeah. on it. Okay. Yeah. And we so I like, should prepare the spell, is what we're saying. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. I would prepare it. Yeah. I will do that. All right. Um, I would need you guys to eat uh, as much food as you have for seven days in the sense of the minimum that you need to eat for seven days journey so you don't get a point of exhaustion. Uh, they I'm shave an entire... Immune. They, they don't eat. <laughs> and they save another... Um, uh, they save you a week of travel time. Oh, is, nice. Which is very um, frustrating. As I tried to make this so you wouldn't get there very quickly. In the first the same as a roll, week? Holy crap, they got long legs. <laughs> wow. They're, they're so I rolled, I rolled, I rolled the good guys. Yep, they're frost nice. giants, and they have a gigantic sled, and they're crossing great lengths of territory. This journey was going to take uh, anywhere from four to eight weeks, and you guys have mm. cut off a week of that time with the frost giants. That's excellent. As they get to their home, they offer you guys a chunk of the mammoth meat, so you can also add that to your inventory, mm. um, however <laughs> much you want to carry out of the like 80 pound chunk that they gave you oh my god they'll take whatever you <laughs> that's can. so much it's not even like an eighth of the mammoth um, <laughs> and they take it into their giant frost cave and bid you farewell like congrats but like stop beating my game <laughs> <laughs> like i'm happy nice. for you but like i thought the session nice. would go longer <laughs> And if you roll a four now, you'll re-roll it. <laughs> no, let's run into him again. I mean, technically, you could, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Twice cool and down. Oh, oh More of you guys. We're just coming down. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? Left my shit up. Come on. I got to go get it. <laughs> got to go get it. Yeah. Four again. Yo, I, don't, I want to see your fucking rolls. I don't believe you, motherfuckers. <laughs> four again. No. No. It's statistically impossible. <laughs> Unprobable. Roll with disadvantage. Two fours. Wow. I go upstairs and I'm like, oh, fuck, my pillow. So what the hell? It feels awful. I take my pillow. I'm like, what the? I unshake it and just all these dice come out of my pillow at night and they're all fours. They're four-sided <laughs> fours. <laughs> what? Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, so somebody roll besides Maz now a D10. Uh, I'll do it. Three. Okay. Ooh, close. Nice. More frost giants. Appear. As you guys are making your way to the frost giants, uh, the weather picks up and a blizzard ends up hitting you guys. I need oh. you to give me um, group survival checks. Ooh, uh, so everybody has to make their own survival check. Okay. Oh, oh. Twenty-one. Okay. Oh. 30-20. Okay. Six. Okay. 25. Okay. Oh, boy. And Aerie dies. Is not rolling. <laughs> Aerie dies. A Aerie is not a survivalist. Aerie is an urban... Uh, urban dweller. <laughs> yeah. Urban dweller. I have 14. He's got that 14. street survival. So, Indeed. Tullius... Maznel and Ulazal, you guys get about half a day into the blizzard, and you're like, where's Ralia and Eri? And Ralia and Eri, you get about a half a day into the blizzard, and you're like, where's Maznel and Ulazal and Tellius? As you guys look for footprints, you're like, right, blizzard. So then you use your communication, and you're going back and forth sending messages and shit, and uh, it takes you the better part of a couple days to figure out, to, to regroup, continue forward. You continue to get lost. And it basically becomes you got to wait out the blizzard a little bit. So you can lose I, time. Uh, can I do a thing to expedite this process? Uh, what kind um, of? I can cast Control Weather mm -hmm. as an 8th level spell. Oh, oh. So um, I cast take 10 or I take 18 minutes to cast the spell what are the requirements uh the it is not a um cost requirement okay. so i can just use my yep. holy focus yep uh the weather within five miles of me uh goes from what i'm assuming is arctic cold to just a more reasonable cold uh the wind goes from strong to moderate mm -hmm. and the precipitation um 
lessens significantly. Yeah. So it is much easier to navigate. You guys do lose some time, but not as much as you would necessarily would have lost. So um, I'd say that that added about three extra days to your journey. What would have added a week to your journey would have negated your basically your first roll. You're still coming out net positive right now. All right. Uh, next up, go ahead and roll D10. Oh, it's, it's my turn. Yep. I'm the next box. Yeah. <laughs> seven. Seven. Lucky seven. Let's go. We win. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, Ulzal is the first to point out um, something strange happening off to the side. It looks like there's some discoloration uh, in the distance. Uh, not too far. It's uh, just yellow snow. No, no. What What exactly is it? <laughs> What's that? I said, what exactly is it? I can see the tiniest details from it. Um, Hundreds notice, of feet away. It looks like to you, after Ulzal points it out, uh, a, a small clearing of what looks to be uh, green trees and green forests and grass and blooming flowers. That is very strange. I'm extremely curious. Let's go check it out. Okay. In the middle of a play. Very um, strange. As you guys like uh, approach, uh, Ulazal is the first to go towards it. Uh, Ulazal, you see inside here uh, basically a cutout of what you would remember the Neverwinter Forest looking like. And it's just sitting here about 20 feet by 20 feet. Uh, Cir- circle mm, diameter just like a dead circle like there's an edge yeah, where the where snow, the snow stops. Is, like this, and then it stops there's no natural reason why this would be here definitely not you don't need to make a roll for that your passive right. bullshit radar is pretty high uh, this is some magic stuff I'm assuming Maybe. too bad I don't have uh, tech magic or anything on me does it does it feel hostile? Go ahead and make an insight check. Does it feel like a trap? Is the grass uh, hostile? Uzal, if you don't have detect magic, I'm sure Raleigh and I could, you know, cast the spell. 25. Uh, yeah, totally today. What was the uh, What was the question again? I'm sorry, I got sidetracked there. Does this feel like a trap? No. I mean, this seems untouched. Just seems like it might be the sanctuary or just a patch of magically conserved forest. How, I don't really how, how know, but it does. That? Like I said, 20 by 20 feet. 20 by, uh, oh, just not very big. Just like a little patch. There's a, couple, there's a couple trees here, completely green. They are not of the same, uh, like, uh, evergreen nature of the other trees up here or the barren ones. The grass itself looks beautifully cut and the uh, bushes have all sorts of reds and yellow flowers up here uh, with the occasional spattering of purples inside. It looks like someone's been mowing. There are bees um, pollinating and there is uh, a bee's nest in one of the trees and it does look like again, it's so small in your passive perceptions. There are some animals living inside here. You can see a what? bird nests and a uh, I'm at least holes in the bases of the few trees that are here. Hmm. Squirrels. I mean, I want to go in there. The Do you guys think that's a good idea? Um, I mean, it's certainly interesting. I think I'm going to keep a watch you I'm going to knock some want. snow I'm going to knock some snow into the ring okay as you kick the snow into the ring the snow lands inside and slowly melts away and it, ex- it, lo- it looks at an accelerated rate okay hmm. something's keeping it warm I mean warm sounds really nice to me right now what do you mean I, I would like to be warm. <laughs> I mean, it's perfectly fine. 
as my beard's like covered in snow. <laughs> <laughs> you go inside, Ulzo? Yeah, I'll like look at everybody and take a step in. As you step in, you feel the temperature completely change. It feels like it's about 75 degrees inside here. You don't oh have the blistering of the winds. And the, you feel this tranquil peace coming over your entirety of who you are. It feels very spiritual. Mm. This is oh, wonderful. Take a you, step in as well. Yeah, you should join me. Very similar. It's very quiet almost too it, it seems like an oasis inside this frost waste uh, can I like look around for any kind of indication of a shrine or anything yeah make an investigation check uh, how goes it in there lads it's, it's wonderful pretty nice you would probably quite enjoy it you do not yeah. feel like you are dying yet <laughs> not yet all right. It's, uh, it looks 16. quite questionable, but I am cold. <laughs> Same. I like three of you are sitting outside while you're waiting for the other two just to get like. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> 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 um, with a 16, you're able to push back one of the bushes near the trees, and you do see a very small, built onto the ground. Uh, at first, what you thought might be a tombstone, but it's actually just a carved stone, and it looks like the uh, symbology and etchings of Kratula. Nice. Yeah, guys, it's, this is definitely kosher. Kratula is cool. Uh, okay. So I mean, I, we can rest here for a while. If we uh, aren't. Uh, what time around. of day is it? Uh, probably midday, to be honest with you. You guys are making progress. You're probably a little over three weeks, three, three, four weeks out from full moon point. I, I, I don't know. Kosher doesn't sound trustworthy. <laughs> it, it is trustworthy. Uh, Mazel, do you know what that means? Kosher? I don't know. It's, it's, suspect. It's, it's a type of salt. And, uh... Salt? Yes. Do you like salted foods? Ah, particularly salted meats, yes. Yes, so by following the logic, uh, do you think that kosher is a bad word or a good word now? Oh, if kosher is salt and salt goes on meat and meat is good. Yes, yes, go on. Then kosher must be good. Excellent (laughs) word. But is there not also meat that is good without salt? (laughs) I mean, mean, meat's good without salt, it's better with salt. Yes. Mazlo does make a great point here. So, yes. You learned something new today. Excellent. I think it'd be nice to just spend a little bit of quiet time here. Yeah, alright. Just have a brief period, a brief respite from everything. How big is this area? 20 feet by 20 feet. 20 feet. Is it a square or a circle? Circle. Uh, so it's just 20 foot diameter. Diameter, yeah. Uh, Ulizel, uh, should we be paying tribute if we're taking... Uh, I was planning on at least hiding the here. shrine up. All right. That's fine with me. Yeah. wonder so if we should well, go a, like, a, like a checkpoint or something. Um, DM, I'm trying to remember. Sure. I, I do, I'm drawing a blank on deity relations. Where does Kratula fall? She is the goddess of wisdom and, Got it. Uh, and nature. How does she relate to Zaheer? She is one of the four that created the universe. That's what I thought. And Zaheer is one of those as well, or is yep. he under? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Corland, Cthulhu, so the here and unknown yeah. fourth one that we haven't ever asked about. Okay, great, thank you. That's that's all I needed. <laughs> well, since society always refers to the big four, you would think it would be common knowledge. Imagine, imagine. It's <laughs> okay. All right. Eh. So I'll uh, spend the next X amount of time we choose to spend here just tidying up the uh, 
area around the shrine and, you know, dusting it off, making sure it's all looking good. Sure. I don't really have yeah, anything that Cretula would that. want. So any- I'm not sure what I could leave her as tribute. I could always um, just spare a few gold. I'm going to walk out of the circle to make sure we're not trapped here. Yeah. You walk out and it's the cold uh, hits you once again. <laughs> The you now realize how warm it is in comparison. Mm-hmm. It is exactly the temperature. I don't know if you actually like it. I think Ryan likes it even colder, but it's like that perfect 73, 74 degrees out. Yeah. It's just warm. Yeah. No wind chill nice, or anything. Nice uh, spring day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to face the circle. I'm going to jump in. Yep. And jump out. Yep. Jump in. <laughs> Is it, is it just is it just forest ground? Is there any like body of water at all? Nope. Just okay. forest. And it's all grass too. There's no dirt patches. Yeah. It's all well taken care of and enriched. Is there any iconography or is it just just that small little statue of uh Kratula carved into a rock? So it's again like the Martin Luther King statue where one half if you look at one side it's just the back of a rock, on the other side it's yeah. carved and then her symbols on there, the uh, Tree of Life, which is shared as Brian's iconography and the uh, Nature's Hold iconography and yeah. Spirit of the Forest. They all share yeah. something. <clears throat> Not all the exact same, but it's you know, God's yeah. from each other. Yeah, Raleigh, um if we're taking an extended stay here, would you like to uh, go through the spell book a bit with me today? Uh, yes, very much so. Uh, uh, I suppose uh, we have time to do that. Sure, and I'd like to see uh, if perhaps there's any mention of this figure here inside there. Doubt it, but okay. hey, you never know. Uh, so what in particular are you looking... Uh, like, you're looking through the spell book, and you're looking for any mention of Cretula, you just said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I um, very doubt it's there, but you never know. There is a few passages of... Uh, Melody uh, trying to approach and contact each of the big four, the big four. and uh, Kratula was unresponsive and Melody was hurt by this but not as hurt as she was by Zaheer's outright rejection of her uh, pleas oh. oh I don't know why you would do that <laughs> Zaheer outright uh, told her in the readings uh, basically that she needed to uh, that she was doing it for selfish means and he would not support her and life goes on okay <laughs> so that very much led her to uh, say to hell is here and she was then looking into uh, any magic to sustain life and this is where she came across the uh, rites of ascendance, and she was trying to look into that, and that is where she ended up uh, crossing paths with the Raven Queen, who ended up giving her uh, an offer in an ultimatum, because she was meddling with uh, uh, mortality and immortality, and that is not okay by the rites of the Raven Queen. Interesting, as I'm like pointing this out to Raleigh. <laughs> in particular, um, one passage does describe an encounter with a Valkyrie of the Raven Queen and where the deal was made. Ooh, uh, yes. Uh, I've met her. Very interesting person. Yes. Spell wise, um, there's some good shit in here. Mm. <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Where I was like, I'm going to copy the entire thing down. We're yeah, spending the next exactly five years here. You do that thing where you like rip the pages out and then take no. them into your own book. <laughs> it's 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 uh, an amount of um, magical ink and ink. paper yeah. that scales price wise and time wise based on the level of the spell. Is that fan talking? Yes. Yes, Ryan. Oh, shit, it is Ryan. Oh. Give me back my friend! Give me back my friend! 
I've never trusted fans. <laughs> um, teleports in here, dimension door, finger of death, disintegrate. Nope. Um, Kona cold, confusion. Uh, yeah, I already know most of these. Is... Gate, imprisonment, meteor swarm, power word kill, true polymorph, true resurrection. Jesus, you're just giving Rally access to every ninth level spell? I'll just take all those. <laughs> no, she doesn't get free access. These are just what's in there. She doesn't just get them, but this is what Orlith would have a thousand percent had in her research I mean, and backstory. I mean, it, it would still take quite a while to actually yep. transfer it over. I forget exactly. Hey, Power Word Stun. Are these useful? Sunburst. Feeble Mind. Dominate monster. Uh, yes. Control weather. <laughs> anti magic field. Um, there's also an extra level of complication because it's written in a dead language, which you can obviously translate with whatever you have. Um, mm. And there's also protections on this as well from uh, whatever spells that Orlith put in to her book. And the way she researched it too. There are clearly spells that got the Raven Queen fucking angry at her, and those spells have been oh God. Uh, red flag, <laughs> crossed out, doctored, or some divinity has also fucked with them. One of which is the Rites of Ascension. Um, that is clearly so. It, it's it's up. two hours and fifty gold worth of enchanted paper and ink per level of spell. Okay, so like a ninth level spell takes. 18 hours and oh jeez how much gold is that oh 40 450 gold well, the unless you have unless you have a bonus based on your uh, school I, I, could, could, so. I could make it even more expensive and harder what if I bump every if you want to learn ninth spell of magic I could just say wait a minute it costs 10,000 gold pieces in two hours per level you can, and you can do that because that is your prerogative is this a journal or is it it's her? Spell book. It's her spell book. If it's a spell book with the special paper and everything, yeah. can't Rai just use that? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. A spell book's a spell book. You would think so, but it might be. What does it matter? I say, uh. Nah, because you can't comprehend it. So you're trying to, like, you need to transfer it in order for you to comprehend the spells. And it's also made in such a way that it's Orlith spellbook, so it's supposed to work for Orlith. She it would definitely be customized in a way where she wouldn't want other people to be able to use it if it was given away from her. Um, like you weren't supposed to get this. You guys did a really good job getting this. I'm gonna put limitations on it. It's basically something you can get stuff in the future. Uh, off it. It's going to come at a high price for the higher spells, but there's lower stuff in here that you can uh, also enjoy. Uh, modify memories in here, which is hilarious. You don't need that. <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of uh, powerful spells and a lot of spells you already know. Speak with dead, which I... Can you do that? Uh, I might have it. Uh, I don't know. Not currently right now. Vampiric Touch. Water Breathing, Water Walk. You can tell this uh, because it's it's her spell book, but there's also, like, on the back of the spell book, there's, like, another book taped to it. There's mm -hmm. clearly the end of the spell book, which is, like, 100 plus pages. And then that's where a lot of the journal entries uh, expand upon into our spell book. And talk about her time. Uh, there, from her journal entry, she stopped keeping time. But inside the book, Melody covers at least about 800 years worth of entries. And at least from the dates. Oh my. Uh, can I try to decipher what the spells that are crossed out are? Uh, sure. Um, insight check. at that 27 um i'd say you get the semblance that uh one spell 
seems to deal with the breaking of one's mind and the control of the broken vessel. Uh, another spell deals with uh, trying to fuck with time and trying to see if there's some way she can manipulate time and matter. And a uh, another one had to deal with... Uh, what seems to be a magic beyond magic you understand in the sense of it is clearly it seems beyond normal magical capabilities and almost, level spell. almost like it's uh, m- more like a crackpot theory less an actual spell okay. those would be the major ones in the rites of ascension which mm-hmm. is the idea to ascend to godhood. That is interesting. Um, do you want to hold on to it, Talia, still? Or, uh... There's still plenty of other journal entries you could go through. Um, if you've exhausted its usefulness, uh, I'll uh, keep messing around looking for journal entries. Maybe yes. try to talk about the memory. Yes, until I uh, have some time to sit down uh, and really work on it, I, I will not be able to use it. All right, fair enough. Just let me know when you need it. Thank you. So I'd say probably over the course of our journey, yeah. I would just want to scroll through it at yeah. night before bed. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll do some light reading. Um, yeah, but we don't have to do that right now. No, we'll, we'll get through some of it. I'll bring it up as we go through it. Um, at the end of you know that sequence and what you guys are doing, and you take your rest here for a bit, uh, Ula's all because your perception, I believe, is passively high enough. You do notice on one of the branches, you can see an owl and a raven both watching over your group right now. That's a good omen. Hey, Raleigh, look at that. Huh. Does it look like? Just a normal raven, or is there any... Looks like a normal raven, but that's typically the sign of the raven queen. Right. Hmm, what's an owl? Good to know that even here, in the most desolate of places, we're still not out of their sight. Yes. Uh, indeed it is. And I, I just want to try to approach the raven and like put my hand up. It for, doesn't like... leave, and as you put your hand up, uh, you're able to pet it. I will pet it. Does not feel particularly friendly nor hostile. It is very neutral as you pet it. <laughs> the owl I'll, just looks on. I'll allow it. <laughs> I tolerate you. <laughs> that is good enough for me. Uh, you can make a religion check, Ulazal, if you forget the symbology of the owl. <clears throat> Do I know the symbology of the owl? You can make a religion check too. Okay. You got an 18, so. Yeah, 14. Um, It's not too difficult to ascertain. The uh, symbology of the owl is familiar to you from uh, your time in Phandalin, as that is uh, synonymous with Timora. Good times. I uh, still have that blessing. Mm hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> we do have that. Mm-hmm. She's not forgotten about her little stars. Are we still in the yep. oasis? Yeah, you were visited by an owl and a raven. Ah. Um. I wonder if these creatures are uh, habitats. Uh, this this is their habitat, or if they wander here. I'm going place. to because I have multiple at the moment. I'm going to pull out one of my one of the newer coins. Time more that I got from Sister Garoline. Yeah. And I'm just going to leave it at the feet of the owl. It or is, is it still here? It's in a branch. They're both on branches. Just watching. Okay. Guys. I'll, I'll just put it right at the shrine then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. The birds again remain neutral. I'm going to summon. I'm gonna summon summon Morta and have her just sit next to the other raven on another branch. 
Mm -hmm. It sits there. <laughs> the other raven starts like calling at her, and not in an angry or hostile way, but they seem to exchange some words back and forth. And Raven, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> In Don't see a lot of ravens around here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like to live here or something? <laughs> Is there anything you guys want to do before you leave the oasis? I uh, just want to leave a small tribute of like 30 gold at the shrine. Sure. Mm. Small tribute of 60 days wages for the average person. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rich bitch! Yeah. Okay. Sure. You can put on a is there like display, yeah. Is there water here? Like a nope. no, not at all. You guys want it? You want this water twice now? <sighs> you can melt. Yeah, I, I already asked about that. Oh, okay, I didn't it's mostly it. just a refill of water skin, not anything like special. Is there just any fucking upgrades in this goddamn shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're looking for water, you can probably just bring some snow from out there into here. That's into fair. I'll just. Water. It'll Stuff melt. some snow into my thing and then bring it into the yeah. area and let it melt. It melts at an accelerated rate within probably 30 seconds. There you go. You have warm water now, but it's water. <laughs> it'll it'll freeze quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, do we um, have anything we want to do before we continue? No, I'm, I'm I'm ready. Yep. The cold is going to seem so much worse now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Delius, roll the next die. One d10. Or did you already roll it that time? I did not. Okay. I rolled it last time. And eleven. So eleven. No, it was a joke. Ah, <laughs> plot twist. You know, you almost had me there. <laughs> I was looking over uh, list and like, I don't have an 11 on my <laughs> You're list. Like, oh, There's no 11s here. I rolled a 3. Do you want me to re-roll? Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to get stuck in a blizzard again. <laughs> I know. No. Uh, I got a 9. Nine. 9. 9. Nine. As you guys are continuing your journey, Mosnell is doing an excellent job tracking down. He's got his map. He's like <sighs> trying to measure everything out as you guys are going through multiple cold winter days, but warm nights with Thralia as she teleports you guys and Mosnell's filling in between that time. Uh, you come across a... a uh, an individual that seems pinned by a fallen tree. You can see they're like uh, the dogs are dead and they're, they're uh, it's not a sleigh. It's a uh, dog sled. Dog sled is cracked and seems broken. Clearly some sort of accident happened here. The tree has, is pinning an individual and it looks like the, they're bundled up but covered in snow and there's they're still struggling a little bit with it, but clearly fading. Raleigh has cast disintegrate on the tree. The tree fucking disintegrates. <laughs> I was like, Mazda was like, all right, that's not, oh. <laughs> Tree's gone. Is that the first time that spells work for you? <laughs> Uh, I'm, all, I might have the second time it's going to work for you. <laughs> <laughs> I have the first one and cast spread of the dying. <laughs> nice, yep. Um, uh, the individual looks to be this uh, almost young human uh, woman. Uh, more like a girl, I'd say. Maybe 18, 20 years old. Uh, very red in the face. It looks like some of her... Uh, the gloves on her hands are all cut up and everything. And she's going to be exposed cloak. to frostbite because she was pushing so hard. Cloak. Oh, I take off my cloak and I put it on Okay. You see, she's a bit out of it, but as she... Oh, thank thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, who's there? Is, what happened to the tree? 
The tree is gone. Uh, where were you heading? It seems like you had a bit of bad luck. She seems really out of it and still not responsive yet. She definitely seemed to be on death's duel. Ralia will start casting Galder's Tower. Sure. Takes a while, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to cast Regenerate on her. Sure. Regenerate. Uh, you can see her coming to, and uh, many of the frostbitten parts of her body uh, end up falling by the wayside as she begins to warm up and things start coming back to her as she's she's faded though she's exhausted and tired it looks like uh, as much as it's helping her heal doesn't have hasn't had food in a while hasn't had water in a while we're gonna take uh, inside in just a minute Mary as... do you have some of that warm water <laughs> <laughs> three days later <laughs> tink tink <laughs> You mute it. You mute it. If you're talking. Might just be the headset. Alright, good talk. It's loading. I can Nope, still muted. <laughs> Life's tough. Uh, you heard him? I thought I did. Hello? I there, oh, there he is. There we are. For some reason, and it's not every time when I walk too far away from my the USB thing, it just like disconnects. Yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> I was just saying it's probably not warm water anymore. It's probably ice. In fact, it is ice. <laughs> <laughs> Doing anything with her? You've you've gotten some warm on her. You've healed yeah. her a bit. Does she look like she has frostbite? Or anything? Not anymore. Not thanks to Ulzar. All right. Good. The tower. Best doctor in the world. Tower is finished, I'll say, for the sake of brevity, and you're able to bring her inside the uh, bottom area. She begins to try and warm up. What's her name? She's still unconscious, so... Uh, okay. You, you can try to wake her up, or... Uh, nah, just let her rest for a little rest while. Rest for a while, or something else is up to you. She's not, I am going she's to not try to... lucid yet. She was clearly... In an accident yeah. for a while. I'll give her time then. I'll put my water skin over the magical fireplace so that it melts. <laughs> Alright, it does indeed. I'll go. I'm gonna go to her, the crash site. Yeah. And just try to pick through and salvage whatever's reasonable just to get that, gather that up. Yeah, give me an investigation check. Uh. I don't know if this is a mistake or if I randomly got this and I forgot about it, but tell you this is a decanter of endless water. Oh yeah, no, you got that from your uncle. No, you yeah, you've had it that. Alright, cool. Bag. I'm just gonna conveniently remember that. Right oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I have this thing. This is to no. Tellius would definitely not say shit. He would just pretend he had it the whole time. Oh, and just yeah. quietly do you- <laughs> Doing all that, and especially I see it in front of Mosnell as well, where Mosnell just sitting there, and you just keep pouring water. You see Mosnell like looking, and then <laughs> as it's still going, <laughs> his heart clearly uh, racing. <laughs> When's it gonna stop? <laughs> see all the water. <laughs> I'm I'm not very lucky. I rolled a natural one for a three. I mean, Jesus. The DC was low as shit because there's literally no rush. Um, But picking through it, most of it's just garbage at this point. The snow is either destroyed or obscured the majority of it. The dog sled is shattered. And uh, from the dogs itself, they look like they've been um, dead for quite a while. Uh, Maybe a couple days in that sense. How is she alive? I'm going to return my group. I'll let them know that I didn't find anything. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna mention it was all off to the side. It's a little strange that she's still alive when her dogs were long dead. Well, she may not be as she appears. 
but that still doesn't rob us of our responsibility to do right whenever we can. I don't disagree, just we should be Careful. very... Absolutely. Uh, Ulazal. Yeah. What do you think about entering her dream? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna cast dream on her and okay. try to put Ulazal in. What's the <laughs> uh, wisdom save for her? What's the DC? Eighteen. Okay. Twenty-one. What? Oh, we're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is interesting. Uh, she is definitely something else more than uh, she appears. Could not break into her mind. Uh, Maybe that's a little invasive. What she look like again? Trying to human uh, save a wife. Air. The she got tip of the like red nose at the point red cheeks just because all the blood's finally rushing back to her face uh, if you want to be invasive you can open up her eyes and see what her eye color mm -hmm. is there's not no there's, no I'll just cast detect, detect magic and see if she's got anything or is anything okay so what do you mean detect magic <clears throat> for the duration you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you mm -hmm. if you sense magic this way you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. And you learn its school of magic, if any. Mm -hmm. I'd say... You notice she is wearing rings that glow magical. Uh, they she has are... got rings. <laughs> they do not look like Escott rings, though they will be in the drawing of Escott. I got the four. I am going to go with uh, Mansoon for the fill-in four. Because I've also changed Mansoon so drastically that it's, it's not his own. So I'm yes. excited for that commission. It's going to be Ragnorum, Orlith, Mansoon, and, and uh, Scotty. 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 We got Scotty. Raggy. Um, uh, I don't have anything for Orlith or uh, Mansoon yet. Mansoon is just that fucking asshole who talks slow. He <laughs> really is. is. Soon. Soon. Orlith, more like adorable -if. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, um, um, Orlith, by the way, for her image, I have in my mind too. She's going to be completely in color. Uh, on one side, but then on the opposite side of her wings will be a version of Melody that is like faded and like oh, uh, so weird. Uh, or I, or I, left. I didn't ask for this kind of sadness, but you I got should. it. You should. <laughs> you ever feel regret over something that's completely out of your control? You do now. Yeah, this is what happens when you give the DM your backstory. Here, do whatever you want. You killed the love of your life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I'll just like the spell, gesture. You notice the rings. One has a sense of necromancy on it. One has evocation. One has transmutation. And one has divination. Uh, uh, oh. These rings look to be of importance. Uh, so maybe, especially this one, this necromancy one. Would be, Do you uh, have any way to tell what type of creature she is, if she's not human? I'm not a uh, expert on anatomy. Maybe we should ask her when she wakes up. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely what I was just about to say. But for now, she's harmless if she's sleeping, I presume. Who wants to stay and keep an eye on her? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, actually, Ralia and Telius could probably use this time to do spellbook things. Uh, since we have a little bit of time. What would uh, you like yeah. to look in for the spellbook? What are you curious about? I mean, if I'm being forced, I just want to read it for journal entries. While I, you know, make sure she's not doing anything wacky. You find uh, there are pages that have been torn out. 
and it starts off very determined and very hopeful and it seems like a slow descent that you have trouble reading towards of just hopelessness and just how frustrating the whole situation is um, she describes events that she was left alone after a while and being left alone was very difficult for everybody she knew was no longer with her uh, and she had to start over. That was a monumental task in itself, especially since um, her faith turned her back on her. Uh, mm. She does detail the pain of losing uh, their ram friend and uh, hoping to see him again someday. Uh, she talks uh. about tracking down Valkyries at one point at a uh, at one of their home locations. She describes it as this grand waterfall in which uh, many of the Valkyries have a uh, a residency for and she pled her case to them. And the, Does she say where that is? I, she described it. She describes it in such a way with landmarks of an older time. God, so, she's so old. <laughs> so the names aren't the same. That's fine. These are definitely lost names that don't mean anything to you, and. Don't West Virginia. <laughs> Take me off! <laughs> Just past the country road. Shannon, do a river. You notice there are passages that, like, there are pages missing. There are sentences that literally just stop, and then there are parts of sentences that are just there's words missing. There's just things missing inside here. Uh, You'd never let's... find your name either. It looks like uh, she uh, certainly did a great deal of things. Surprised to hear that the faith turned its back on her. That is what's most surprising to me. Uh, also, that she considers the Ram a friend. That's a bit weird. But uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I Ram, me and Ram are tight. Everybody give me a perception Man. check. Everybody? Everybody. 21. Natural 20. 430. 12. Mm -hmm. Oh, natural 1 for 6. <laughs> So Ula's all is too he too into like the patient care and making sure they're all right. What do you uh, guys six, sixteen. Everybody else looks to the window on the bottom floor and just sees the giant eye of the ram peeking in with his little googly eye. As he, you definitely get the sense of like what's going on in here. Why can't I come in? Hey, let me in. I'll be in there. Just open the door. Uh, let me in. Harry, do you want to get the door? <laughs> I mean, he won't fit. Well, he can... He's be, your friend. He can be wherever the fuck he wants. It would be so. rude not to let him in. He... Mm, <laughs> he doesn't really wait for invitations, though, so I don't think he's that curious. I mean... He usually like, just comes in and just... Here's appears. the thing, right? He's going to come in whether he wants to or not, so you might as well let him in so exactly. that he feels good. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll I'll go to the door, you know. <laughs> I'll open it up and I'll be like, "Hey!" If, As you if open you want the door, it. he's already there, <laughs> <laughs> with the opposite eye at the crack of the door. It, it's warm in here. If you if you want to come in, hail the darkness. Hail the darkness. All right. It feels like something weird. <laughs> For something that doesn't respect boundaries, for some reason, like being invited into a home, 
needed an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm like, why is it being so respectful to us right now? <laughs> <laughs> As, okay. I'll, I'll show it the courtesy, but it's that's, weird. That's like vampire shit. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> we have rules in our code. <laughs> <laughs> um, As he comes in, it is a very tight fit, and he should not fit, but if it almost seems like his size shrinks just enough. <laughs> I, I imagine that's what would happen. To be inside. <laughs> him. And you see him as he's, his little mm-hmm. eyes are doping around. He goes to reach out for something on a table and then it just restrains himself. <laughs> uh, that is completely unsurprising. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do notice as he sits down in the back and again goes like out of view, just sort of fucking chilling, just watching you all. Um, he goes to the back and he's not taking anything. But he's definitely hoarding pillows and blankets around him. So, <laughs> and other things. It's like, it's That's... very clear. Like, he's, he's moved one of the unused couches or like recliners. <laughs> he's pushing that shit next to him. And he just like, She's might not be his, for it. but this is his. <laughs> for uh, the Raleigh's duration of say, his stay, this is mine. <laughs> Raleigh's going to say, do not get too attached to those. They will disappear in about 24 hours. See, one googly eye is unmoved. The other googly eye like stops for a second, like because they're normally just like googling around the whole time, and then like <laughs> hanging at the bottom one just stops, looks down, goes a little closer, and there's almost like recognition at what this is, and like disappointment. Oh. <laughs> and then back to googly eyes because he's like, it's I still got shit. <laughs> If anything, now he feels like he can take it for free without any repercussions. <laughs> well, funny enough, you see like an, an arcane circle uh, show up, and like a an animal, like a bear, basically comes out, and he just starts holding the bear, just like a consolation. <laughs> and you can see the bear just like. Whoa. It's like trying to get away, but it can't get out. Well, it doesn't know. At first, it's like, where am I? And then it's like, whoa, whoa. And as it starts stressing, you see it being like, Mrr. and puts it right back in the alchemy circle. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, great. Well, I feel like what? it's like you speak his name and he just appears. I don't even know what the Ram's name is. Hail the it's just, just Ram friend. Yes, Hail the Darkness. Hello. Yeah. I was just reading about you uh, in this journal here. Hail the darkness! Yeah, hail the darkness. Yeah. Great, it crazy leans story. over because it's so fucking massive. It doesn't need to get up and move. I like, I like eye. put my finger like on the passage, like like pointing it out to it, and see if it does anything. Hail the darkness! Hail the darkness! Hail the darkness! And you see him hail put its uh, its horn to you, Tellius, and you have a memory. Yes! <laughs> Coaxed it. <laughs> I wasn't going to give you this one this early, uh, you little bastards. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, can he? These guys put me into overtime. I gotta go get some new music. Uh, music. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got here? It's a really good fight playlist. I don't know why I don't use it. <laughs> uh, As an aside, I feel like I've been playing through the the game Doom 2016. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should. I feel like we should definitely add some of those songs for. Our oh yeah. Dude, oh yeah. yeah. I gotta go the through Doom it. Soundtrack is so good. Let's Eternal entirety of Doom soundtrack is amazing. Nuts on me being like you have to use Doom Mute Doom Doom. Oh my god, Doom. Doom. They're music. both games. You're not wrong. <laughs> Out of anything, BFG division is yeah. like on par with a hunk. Um yeah. Hunk. I'm almost so, certain he sent me that when I'm like, I love Hunk. He's like, you'll like this. And I'm pretty sure I listened to it. I'm like, I love BFD, Hunk. No. BFD is the, the iconic one from... That's like the main one that I remember. Nick Gordon? Yeah. 
yeah. it's the one that it, the one it's the one that plays through like every single yeah. major fight sequence. Basically, yeah. Oh yeah, David Flasian, whatever your name is, yeah. <laughs> also, the artist that made the Doom soundtracks posts it all to YouTube. Yes, I know. I'll I'll get to it. I basically I just throw it on my iPod and I listen to it. Don't. Um, the Doom Eternal soundtrack's really good too. It is. You're really good. I'll cut you. Me fighting the boss Whoa. half the episode. Which ones did I like? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Some of the names are, are like funny though. I think one of the ones I really liked in Doom Eternal was called like Meat Hook or something. <laughs> Meat Hook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds right. Oh, I gotta loop it. Gotta loop. Loop that shit. Ooh. When does the bass drop? <laughs> yeah. Who wants to be a millionaire stuff. Yeah, it is. Tell you. Creepy. Ah! Um, you find yourself in the memory. You are in the middle. Your uncle's to one side, clearly not thrilled, as you see <laughs> Melody on top of the ram, and oh, you guys God. are walking as a, uh, a quad or a trio right now, and oh, Melody's on her back, on top of the head of the ram, flipping through <laughs> pages of her book right now, and you hear her saying stuff like, I don't see what the problem is, I mean, we learn so much, it's pretty wonderful, I mean, it's just like he, he makes it easy. He just points things out. And uh, Deldrick looks over and he's like, yeah, like half the time. But like the other half of the time, it just puts us in a world of shit. And it's it's not funny. And you, you go like, I, I think it's quite hilarious, actually. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what our faith encourages, Uncle, I think. You're just being a sore sport here that you're not doing the the fun tricking this time around. And he just like, don't, don't get smart with me, Julius. I swear <laughs> you. And you guys are in a, uh, a very tropical setting. It very much reminds you of uh, what home was like. Uh, where very dense jungles and forests, tropical weather. You're in what appears to be uh, elevated, and it looks like on a uh, large stone structures and stone roads that seem to connect uh, to different stone cities up inside mountains. Uh, as you guys are walking, uh, you guys are having fun banter back and forth when... The mood goes sour. Um, you can feel coldness in the air as the normal warm heat dims. And in front of you, uh, from the sky, comes down a Valkyrie that hits the ground and is in the armor of uh, what you recognize to be Zaheer, as it has the uh, stag on its chest. And behind you, two more Valkyries come down. Uh, surrounding the group right now. Those Valkyries have the symbologies of uh, uh, let's see, where were we? Here we are. Oh god. Uh, Am I re remembering my death? This is fun. <laughs> Fondar, which has the art, you recognize uh, yeah, you recognize the Valkyrie uh, Dessa and the other Valkyrie is uh, oh, I'm sorry I'm looking at the wrong ones over that's why it didn't look right I'm sorry. My my tables were off. It's okay. Sometimes the memories get fuzzy. It's Tezjun. I'm sorry. A dreams. I, I didn't think it was Dessa. And uh, Rosella of Enchantments are the other two behind uh, 
as the Valkyrie approaches, you said, you said wait, hold on. You said Zahir, yeah. Fondar, Tezjun, and Rosella. So it's just it's just Zahir, Tezjun, and Rosella. Okay, so okay. God and what's Tezjun? Dreams and enchantments. Dreams. Oh boy. Thank you. Um. The Valkyrie of Zahir. Steps forward. I gotta get one thing up. Oh, come on, Ben. Let's find a trench here, please. Okay, that's why we work the pencils. That's okay, it's in front of me. Um, she takes a couple steps forward and she has uh, her shield on her back, sword at her side as she looks to Deldrick, you, uh, Melody, and the Ram, and then back to Deldrick. It's time to hand the boy over. You see uh, your uncle look and he goes, <sighs> We've been over this Farifa. We were granted the care, and it's going to work out just fine. Under Halal's guidance, we have every right to keep him and get him to his destination. She steps closer as the gap is closing between the two of them. Things have changed, and Zahir no longer wants to take any chances. With the first of our chosen being killed, we do not want to take a risk. We are assembling all the rest of the chosen, and we will get them to their needed posts. This is something we cannot afford to let slip through the cracks. How dare you insult my ability to protect my nephew? You don't think I'm capable enough of protecting him? She leans in closer and she goes, No, you are not capable. No paladin of Halal is enough for what's coming. And he goes right up to her, butting his chest up against her armor. There's only a slight height difference. The Valkyrie slightly being taller than the uncle. And he looks her right in her eyes and he goes, You're not taking my nephew. The other Valkyries take their swords out, and Melody gets up, and you see her hands out, and you hear the ram just go, Hail the darkness! Um, <laughs> as you tell me to take out your swords, and your uncle goes like, No! No! We don't, we don't need to fight here. We don't need to be enemies. There doesn't need to be more bloodshed. And the Valkyrie goes, Good. Hand him over. You against me. Winner takes it. I'll prove to you I can handle it. I can prove to you no one's taken my nephew away from me. And she goes, I I do not agree to such. And he takes his fist and fucking punches her right in the face and clocks the Valkyrie to the ground. Um, at this, the other Valkyries go to aid and you see her take her shield out and kick back um, to the ground as a shine of light and energy bursts in front and knocks Deldrick back as he then unsheaths the two scimitars you're familiar with um, as the two stand opposite of one another. And the Valkyrie spits a little blood and goes, No! No! I'll handle this. Um... A fight begins in front of you as the Valkyrie and Deldrick begin to uh, fight one-on-one. -on -one. The Valkyrie clearly has the upper hand uh, with going up to into the sky, having air advantages and raining down attacks. Uh, her armor is impeccable and can see your uncle is lagging behind trying to keep up with her. But as... He seems to be hitting this wall. You see 
the battles start changing a bit as the Valkyrie begins to miss attack after attack after attack. And almost a dance is going on where Deldrick has what you've become familiar with, learned how she attacks and is now dodging any of her attacks as she tries to approach him. Um, this ends up leading to an uh, encounter where there are cross blades after she couldn't touch him, um, giving this bit of confidence. She thinks, ah, I have restored order to this balance. And as the Valkyrie is going for a, to overwhelm the cross <clears throat> like a swords, your uncle twists to the side and puts a divine smite up into her back and underneath her armor. Um, You can see this frost explode out and some of her armor just shatter across. Um, At this, you can see the Valkyrie returns the favor and puts a divine smite right into your uncle and your uncle's armor begins shattering out to the other side. Um, At that, your uncle grabs the sword hand of the Valkyrie. She hits him in the face with the shield. He twists the sword out of her hands and it flies off the side of the road you guys are on up top. She then grabs both of his swords, rips them out of his hands, and he straight up headbutts the Valkyrie in the face onto the ground. You see a a rough brawl going back and forth as the two of them are now just exchanging fists back and forth to the point um, that your uncle's eye is beginning to swell shut. Both are bleeding profusely in this encounter and you can see the other uh, Valkyries are, are, are really thrown off kilter and they don't know what to do. Melody's looking right now with her hands up. She's like, don't try anything. If you stand by whatever words you pretend to live by. (laughs) Um, As the battle continues, the Valkyrie gets to the top of uh, your uncle and is just beating the side of his face over and over and over again. You can see your uncle beginning to fade. And then you see him just go... And out from his neck, he just spills ice, just an ice blast all into her face as she gets knocked onto her back. And as he does that, he she's trying to claw the ice that is now frozen around her head, restricting her breathing. He takes her arm and cracks it the other way to break one arm. And then he takes the other arm and breaks that one as well. And then the Valkyrie is just laying on the ground as your uncle gets up victorious from this fight um, victorious as he's walking towards you your uncle has uh, a rib literally sticking out of him right now the side of his face is swollen and fucked up there are teeth missing on him his armor is shot to shit he is limping back towards you as he's coming and he just goes no one's touching my goddamn nephew as he comes over, he's like, "Come on, Tellius, let's keep going." And Melody just like, "Holy shit! What do you? Holy shit!" As she runs over to him, and she tries to do some healing spells on him, and he just like, "I'm fucking powered, and I can heal myself." As he goes to heal himself, <laughs> just like more of his armor falls off. He's like, oh, "Fuck, it's not working." Um, clearly, he's damaged as you go over two and you start aiding your uh, healing your uncle. And the other two Valkyrie just are stunned. The One of them goes over and begins trying to work on the Valkyrie of Zaheer that's on the ground. The other one's looking at the two, uh, the three of you, and just measuring you guys up. And as uh, Melody is working on your uncle... Uh, you're just looking at the Valkyrie looking right at you and it's taking a step forward and taking a step forward and you, you're like I think I hey, we my, we won, we won what are you doing? We had a deal <laughs> and as uh, the Valkyrie walks forward she goes uh, Verifa made the deal I didn't make that deal as she starts uh, 
walking towards your group, you can see, uh, you're like, time to go. And Melly's like, what, what are you talking about? We don't. And just, you put your uncle on your back and you start running. And Melly's like, what is, and you can see the wings spread out on the Valkyrie. And Melly's like, oh, fuck. And you guys start running. And uh, Melody grabs onto you. She's like, okay, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. And just as the Valkyrie's like about to grab onto you guys, as she's about to teleport, the Valkyrie's arm is reaching out to you. And you see the ram headbutts the Valkyrie, and the Valkyrie and the ram go off the side of the cliff together as you guys teleport away. And that is the end of the memory. He is now Hail the Darkness, the White. <laughs> you can also get in your head, in your head, the horrible wailing of the ram going off the side of that cliff. No. Yeah. Melody not happy and totally broken off seeing that guy go plummeting off the side of that cliff. I'll uh, just like pat his head. You see him go hail the dark as I come to, and I'll just say yeah, uh, yes, hail the darkness. Um, thank you for what you've done in the past. You uh, allowed me to stay on the path with hello. Hail the darkness. Hail the darkness. Hail uh, the darkness. And you'll just see tell you start taking out a journal uh, to start writing some stuff down. As you could tell, he was clearly, uh, you know, like eyes glazed over in some sort of memory trance thing. Um, as you're looking for your like your pen or your quill, can't find it. Hail the darkness. Hail the darkness. You see him look over to you, and there's drawings. Do on you his have? Face. Clearly, in the <laughs> <laughs> could I could I have my pen and paper, please? Hail the darkness! As he turns around and you see it like pinned to his back. Yes, don't be coy with me. <laughs> I just take it off his back. <laughs> yeah, <what> you do. <laughs> Great. Do I still have the journal? Yeah, yeah, right yeah, 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 it's okay, all still great. there. You're still able to write. <laughs> Roll to uh, write in your own journal. <laughs> uh, as all that's, as that's going on, you guys have noticed uh, some of you are missing pillows that were by your sides. Uh, that might have all been one grand distraction as his pillow fork continues to grow. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's the long play. <laughs> Raleigh just wants to say to him, uh, Ram, uh, Hell of the Darkness. Um, hell of the Darkness! I know your thing is, like, <laughs> taking things, but... Um, you don't happen to have something that would really spruce up this room, right? Like, you could summon it or something. It would look really cool, right? You have something, surely. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> 17. Hail the darkness! Give me a second, I gotta get a oh, no, right. oh boy. <laughs> I thought it was in this book. That's why I had it next to me for just this occasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 So the circle opens up, and it seems pretty big, and he's like, Hail the darkness. Spruce up the place a bit. Um, oh out boy. you see oh two, no. two hands come out, and this red, gigantic body begins emerging. And uh, who speaks? Ralia. Uh, 
who speaks... Uh, uh, me, I mean. Oh, he speaks uh, all languages. Good interesting suggestion. Um, <laughs> so you can hear it in all languages. It's like all languages at once speaking. Uh, oh you hear God. these hands come out, and you can see this strange staff with a skull on its head come out, and these wings start unfurling, and you hear, Finally! I, Orcus, return to this world! I will rise again! And you see the ram like, oh, hail the darkness! And it's like pushing <laughs> it back down. And he's like, no! No! Curse you! No! And you see the ram push it way down. It's like, oh, hail the darkness! Just push it way down. Push all the hail the darkness. Way down. Hail the darkness. Excuse me. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure that fits the motif of this room. Mm, hail the darkness. Uh, yeah, the doesn't quite hit the feng shui. Mm. A bit off there. <laughs> Hail the dark. So it opens up another one. <laughs> and you just see like a bunch of fucking bones just come out. Just <laughs> just tons of dead bone bodies. Of just who knows what the amalgamation of all that is. And it's like, Hail the darkness. Hail that the darkness. looks better for sure. Hail the darkness. <laughs> and you see all the bones start slowly like coming together into some like amalgamation, like three or four of them. And they all just sort of start doing like a, a sideways jig. Uh, can I play a tune to get them to, to, to dance differently? You can try. Like spooky, scary skeleton style. Um, that's <laughs> difficult. You're asking a lot there, but let's see. I assume I'm really the performance check. You are. All right, uh, 18. <laughs> 18. Um, not spooky, scary skeletons. They actually start doing waltzes with one another. Oh. Right. Do they seem like they're gonna... undead, or do they seem like he's just, like, animating them? Uh, these are definitely undead. Yeah. Probably wants to uh, command undead on one of them. Sure. What is that? So it, uh, the skeleton has to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Nope, that's an eight. I control it indefinitely. <laughs> yeah. And the next one. Okay. Let's do all four of them. Uh, nope. Yup. That's a... 19. Three of them, you get three of them. Alright, those three are gonna do spooky scary skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. They start doing as the other one's still looking for the waltz, and just like... You see the ram being like, meh. And just grabs it and he's like Rrr! and just puts it right back in a hole. <laughs> and obviously it doesn't have fingers, so it's just a little fucking awesome. hole just sliding <laughs> this thing in. It's like where you go. Oh, that is entertaining. That is perfect. Exactly it what is. I was looking for. Hail the uh, darkness. Ooh, ooh, do you like these, uh... At this point, by the way, as you've now like <laughs> you control them and you look over, he's completely covered in pillows and furniture and you can only see his eyes and his mouth knocks some pillows over when he says hail the darkness. Excellent. <laughs> Lizelle, are you uncomfortable? You um, look a little stiff. That was Orcus? Um it sure was. <laughs> yeah. Who what is Orcus? Who's Orcus, yeah. It seemed like some weird demon mage thing, I, but... I thought, I thought that was a flower. What? No, that's his name. Yes. Orchid, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, he's on another yeah. level. He's on another I, level. Ari was genuinely like, <laughs> "That's good." There's, there's Mosdell issues, wow. but that, that was like a level above that. <laughs> Damn, that's Grog level and above. Good. He's too so smart. Ryan. At first, I'm like, "Man, you know, Brian just shot in the dark there. Didn't work out. Wrong. He's fucking playing 4D chest." Take take a D twenty inspiration. Die. Yeah. Fucking take that D inspiration die. Shit, Mazda, that was good. I have to follow it of halal. Um, God, that was that was probably the best pun I've seen outside of oh. uh, my own. Um, in uh, uh, it's been years. Oh, well, I appreciate. You should that. consider it. I don't have any pamphlets to hand out. Like other faiths, but uh, I could teach you. You already have such inc incredible natural talent. 
I can also use a squire. Squire? Yes. Oh, sounds important. Yes. Yeah, you will hold my belongings for me. <laughs> Hail the darkness? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, hail the darkness. No, no. Hail, no, no. You see, the squire also has to give the belongings back when requested. Yes, exactly. So I don't think really you hear this awful deer hiss back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy is great. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is great. I'm sorry. I, I'm just going to. Ignore it. I think about it, my head will explode. Oh, right, yeah, right. You, you just focus on the patient there, Uzo. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we we the situation you. under control. Ulozo, do you know of this flower demon? <laughs> to what extent do I know of oh, organs? Yeah. Yeah. You're very familiar with fiends. Oh, God. <laughs> Why to make a religion check at advantage with a low DC? <laughs> You could just, just, you could just literally, read. literally don't roll a natural one. If you roll a two, you will get information. 18. Yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> then you get more information than you All right. Uh, let me get it for you. I know enough to know that that ram just displayed power beyond what I'll ever be capable of and beyond what any of us will probably ever be capable of. <laughs> the ram what is the mean? the ram is the fourth elder god, the god of chaos. <laughs> That's what I said at the beginning. You guys were like, who is the god of chaos? I was like, he's with us right now. <laughs> um, Orcus is the Demon Prince of one of the circles of hells. Uh, Ooh, not anymore. Also known as the Blood Lord. Uh, <laughs> clearly, there's a layer of hell that's been demonless and kingless for a while. <laughs> oh, there's a lot going on up Wait, in my brain right did, now. <laughs> did was there was there a Ram Doom guy team up? I was gonna say I know who's sitting on that throne right now. <laughs> um, you know his desire is to see all life quenched in the mul well, there is no multiverse, but the universe transformed into a vast necropolis populated solely by undead creatures under his command. So he is a monster. Um no, I was gonna say towards those who spread death in his What's his name? name? He makes them become ghouls and zombies. Who serve dark side. Legend. He's dark side. Yeah, anti-life equation. Yeah. Um, he's a bestial creature of corruption and disease, decaying. He's got the lower torso of a goo. And the humanoid upper body with uh, a corpulent belly swollen with rot. Great bat wings sprout out from his shoulders, and the head is like a skull of a goat. The flesh nearly rotted from with from it. In one hand, he wields the legendary wand of Orcus, which you did recognize, emerge first. Uh, and typically when he shows up in legend, uh, a lot of people rise from their graves. The uh, air becomes stenched with rotting flesh. Rivers run red, yada yada yada. And uh, people within his domain slowly begin dying. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, uh, that was a literal demon prince. That should not have happened. Uh, you see I mean, the eye turn over, it's like, hail the darkness, and then puts another <laughs> pillow over. I'm just going to go make sure that this girl isn't dead. I mean, the demon prince and I, I'm not going anywhere near that. Hey, the demon prince being in his control is probably better than in his own control, so yeah. I'm happy with it. Yeah, he makes a good point. But the input, no, no, nope, I will not engage with this. Nope. <laughs> I'm just right, gonna right. go up. Yeah, I'm just gonna. 
climb up the goat yep. and just like like Melly did uh that I don't actually know about but no. after seeing that display I'll just like climb up onto his head and just like pet him sure <laughs> you just chill and heal the darkness you see Harry, him disappear my... on one of the pets and you're like what what the fuck and then you're like hey <laughs> it's back on your hand again and you're like I don't know anymore <laughs> uh, Harry, so you take you your shit a... off you and put it to the side you're like wait no 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 like, there's no <laughs> way about this uh, Ari you seem to be a bit carefree um, reminds me of uh, my friend Melody she would uh, lay just casually on the back of the ram as we would travel so uh, you know you can get comfy if you wish my mother used to lay like that on the top of the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know the meme with Katara and like literally? Oh everything? yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I see what I've created, and it's terrific. That's on me. Totally, on me. I'm okay with that. You know I mean, me, me and the Ram go way back. It seems at this point. Yeah, I mean, me too. Literally millions <laughs> of years. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> yep. He's an old one. You guys cool want guy. to take your break, or do you want to keep going? Uh, like, I don't want to kill any momentum or anything, but like, we're, let's yes. let's take a break. We're, we're in a little bit of a lull. We're waiting for we're this hanging out, taking care of this person that yeah. we rescued. I mean, what if she doesn't come too, and we're just chilling with the ranch? We found out Deldrick can one we want a fucking Valkyrie, so that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> badass. It was, Barely. It was a as brutal and disturbing a fight as you will see. It was just, it broke down to utter brawl room bar violence that was not like, yeah, this is MMA. It's like, this is disturbing and I don't like this. Yeah. But and hey, you can kill a Valkyrie. Yeah. Well, she did not, but... You can beat up a Valkyrie. Yeah, yeah. He beat the shit out of it and it beat the living hell out of him. Ah, he's fine. <laughs> What's one rib? <laughs> What's a few teeth? You know what I mean? Stay your side was He got smited a few times. Yeah, you, you get smited, you smoke back. Yeah. We resume. Uh, within a few hours, the individual does wake, and you can see her uh, look around and still in a confused state. I died and gone to heaven. It is Not nice quite. Place. Yes. Oh, hello. <clears throat> you, we found you nearly dead with your sled destroyed and your dog's dead underneath the tree. <clears throat> that sounds you can, right. You can thank Ralia for this nice warm place and oh. you can thank the rest of us for warming you up. Oh, uh, hello, pretty. Thank you, Ralia. Eh, well, yes. Many people tell me that. Some don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want Very to... Very humble, it. as you can see. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Such a pain. So, uh, what is your name? Oh, Tia. Tia? Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Ula Zal, and, uh, these are my compatriots. Hello, compatriots. Good to meet you all. Thanks for saving <laughs> my butt back there. How did how did you manage to get stuck? I mean, uh, obviously the tree fell, but was well, there something that happened? I was uh, ex- exploring all the crazy rumors up here, and uh, fate would have it. I would run into one of those blizzards that came through not too long ago, and I got pinned by that tree. Uh, do you know the concept of uh, the sap inside of trees freezing and then expanding? I believe I was unfortunate enough to have that happen, and then the wolves came and ate my dogs. I wonder why they didn't get you. Oh. A little firebolt here or there will keep them off your ass. So you're, uh, practice in the ways of magic, then? Not very well. Not well enough to get a goddamn tree off you. Yeah, that's, um, that's fair. Um, so where were you heading? South? I didn't find much in the ruins. Try to get somewhere warmer for a time. 
Uh, what ruins have you come from? Oh. She looks for a map. Well, the ones I came from. <laughs> Well, um, I, if you're heading south, uh, yep, we're heading in the opposite direction, so I uh, apologize that we're not going to be able to see you safely to your destination, but, oh. um, Well, that is quite a shame. Don't, do we have anything we can give her so that if she had a dog sled, I don't know, they, will you be able to make it if we just allow you to go on foot? It's not a threat. No, I'm just asking. Well, uh, Ulusol, I mean, where, where exactly, do you know where you're going? I know you say south, but do you have a destination? Wherever the wind takes me. I I could take her to security if we take a day. If it's going to save someone's life, then I suppose we don't have much of a choice. What say you all? I mean, you could just send her to, like, the frozen fortress, and we just have a slightly longer day for one day. Yeah. Good option, I think. And just so she's not caught out in the harsh world. Does this person seem forthright? Give an insight check. As she looks to you guys around, she's like, I remember kind of all of you. Oh, I would also do people. that, but I only rolled a five. 28. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you send the picture of the appropriate guy? That's Johnny J. Don't want to send him that. Yeah, message Johnny about our D&D stuff. I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> After he told me to go get him call Tim to talk about merchandise, I'm like, what the fuck am I going to talk to Tim about? I have no idea what I'm doing. No, no, John. It's not my job. <laughs> Well, um, if you don't have any objections, we could get you underway fairly soon, right, Ralia? That's mighty kind of all of you. I wish there was something I could do in return. Uh, I mean, uh, a description of... You said you were at some ruins. Um, is there any defining characteristics, or what exactly was it you were looking for? Do you know, or was this... Uh, any specific architecture that you may tell us of? Well, uh, the ruin I was looking in was within a bunch of mountains, and uh, within one of these mountains, there's a big old land of shit, and it looked like uh, some poor town tried to set up shop there and uh, didn't make it a couple winters through. Like a bunch of remorasses were making burrows in there, and I was following their burrows around trying to f see uh, if there was anything good made below the civilization that they were pillaging. I didn't come up with much. Uh, did see a bunch of remoras nests. They are quite adorable when they're not being terrible. <laughs> I'm just curious, just because we were cautious with you. What what kinds of rings do you have? Oh, these are oh fa family heirlooms of sort to keep you safe. Uh, these are magical gifts from mom and dad. Help me out in my adventures in the world. Make sure the bad people don't get me. What is your family name, if you don't mind us asking? That's quite personal. 
giving a stranger on the road asking for the family name. True. Yeah. <clears throat> we could have missed that. We did take your life, but. Uh... <laughs> I guess it's no harm. You see, the fun thing about family names is uh, I'm still seeking out mine. We have a strange tradition in our family uh, and in our lineage that uh, you don't get your family name until you earn it. And that's why I was sent off into the world to go get my family name. Uh, but my parents family name you could track them down did they not tell you no 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 just give me fucking something like that. Oh, <laughs> making sure we're not dealing with the, the castle lanterns yes my family name is castle torch <laughs> <laughs> You might have met my dad, uh, last name Grandier. <laughs> son of a bitch. You hairy son of a bitch, she was my wife! And my mom is Mansoon. <laughs> First name Man, last name, last name Shun. Holy shit, I can't spell. This is this is infuriating. <laughs> Do we need to get you like hooked on phonics or something? I tried it, it didn't work. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my god, Reed, you're so dumb! That, of course that's how it's spelled. Ugh! before you accept that proceed. Except the fantasy bullshit. Jor Warren is my father's name. Last name. Family name. Does that mean anything to me? Go ahead and make a uh, history check. Sixteen. That seems a uh, an interesting tradition. I quite like the idea. It's all about making yourself a name in the world and a name for yourself. Well, uh, I I wish you the best of luck with that, and hopefully no more fallen trees. Um, hopefully not. Should you? Would you like to gather your things? Would you like to have a meal before you? Go? I'd love a meal. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we'll have a meal. Okay. I, I don't know. There's not really a ton I want to do. I'm just trying to be nice to this person before we teleport them into the abyss. Okay. But not actually the abyss. Okay. Easily enough, you guys can scramble together a meal for whatever food you have and the meats that you've taken from the frost giants that you've been carrying on your journey here. Um, after the meal, she seems ready to go and she stands up, dusts herself off in her clothes, and she goes to you, and she's like, All right, pretty one, where are we off to? Uh, I suppose we will go to the Frozen Fortress. That is the closest location that I am familiar with, so uh, perhaps you can find your way from there. Um, if you ever wish to reach out to me, my name is Ralia, as you have heard. Um... Many know me, so if you're looking for me, surely they can find me. 
That sounds wonderful. <laughs> You're famous in these parts, then. A man of a room of celebrities. I am famous in many parts, and tell <laughs> <laughs> Her eyebrows go up with a big grin and smile. And I will teleport right, like, outside the doors of the Frozen Fortress. Holy shit! Look at this place! Are you f on good terms or bad terms with these people? Very good. Uh, I should probably get back to my friends. Um, just tell them Ralia sent you, and I'll wave to the guard. To the guard just like... <laughs> and I'll tell them back. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that wasn't an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need you guys to roll last one's loop. D10. I think that is a, Let's go, Luke. That is a 10. Oh, oh. As, as, an, as an aside, I meant from when we did we sent her off yeah. it came to my mind i was gonna talk to ulazal and just be like hey by the way maybe like once a week or so you should probably send a message to either like brian or calgary just to like make sure just like to check in let them know we're not dead and make sure we're not missing anything like huge that's probably a good idea the world does seem to make some big changes when we're not around so, uh, <laughs> Alright, who are you sending a message to? Uh, I'll send a message to Calgary. Uh, <sighs> hey Calgary, just checking in. We are in the frozen tundra making our way to the full moon point. Uh, we're not dead. Just wanted to keep you in the loop. And uh, you have 25 words to respond. Of course we're not dead. It was already talking. Like, just pleasantries. <laughs> Good to hear from you. Out at sea, uh, out to kill the leader of Minna. Easy. Good to hear Easy. from you. Seems uh, he's on his way to deal with that um, the last ivory tusk fellow. Mm. Hope that goes well for them. Mm. They have Bologna with them, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Hard yeah. Cut. Hard cut to the four of them inside the castle. Fucking oh! Who says all of them are inside a noose? <laughs> <laughs> and Tyrion, burn, burn, burn! <laughs> Hard cut back to you guys. <laughs> Alright, I need you to roll another D10. Ooh, are we gonna start over at the top again? Nope. He rolled a 10, he need, now needs to roll another D10. Oh, oh, Luke. Oh. Yep. Okay. How many Tarasks are there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled an 8, so hopefully not 8 Tarasks. Oh, we could take 8. Aren't they friendly? <laughs> uh, roll that you can ride the Tarasks. Sorry, re roll. Oh. oh. Reroll the eight. Oh boy! Okay. I'm That's going four, to name so. mine Rex. Four. It's the four acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can work with the four. The other one, we basically just did it, so I'm not, I'm not doing it again. Um. As your journey's going, you guys are walking through the day, and you settle down at the end of one of your nights. Um, you see a teleport circle go up, and you can see the ramby like, Hail of Darkness. As you see smaller little red hands come out, you see, What is this delightful place? And the, you see this very thin, sickly looking, red skin, pointed ears. Big sharp teeth, white teeth, grinning fellow comes out. Hello, hello. Anybody here? You see the ram being like, hey, all the dark. He's like, oh, oh, you, you bastard. As he starts forcing <laughs> it back. And he's just like, no, no. He takes the pillow and the ram's like, hey, all the dark. Ah, ah. He like closes the door quick on the ram. And you see him just like, hello there. Whoever wants to be in the living room 
Basically, the ram was outside, and this thing just came inside your house. Uh, do you recognize this one, Rosal? Do I? Go ahead and make a nature check. Nature. Well, uh, excuse you. <laughs> uh, it is a weird looking fucking creature in front of you. You're not very familiar with it. Um, give me a history Can- check. Can we help you, sir? Yes, yes, there he is as he comes over to you. Yes, you can absolutely put his hands all over you, totally ignore him. I'm going to, like, push him. He could easily, no, he doesn't He doesn't fight it at all. As you, as you push him back, he's just like, <laughs> there is a fucking monster outside. Have you seen it? I have, yes. He fucking imprisoned me! Oh. For years! Presumably oh. Years. 23. <laughs> oh. 23. Uh, remind you of something you saw in Vecna's cave. Something? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's not ringing it's a bell Vecna at the moment. Vecna himself. Oh, okay. and, and, and who might you be? I am Sardisius the Great. Ah. The imprisoned old Sardisius. They knew I had too many great things on my horizon, so they did put that fucking thing in front of me, and he imprisoned me. Just out of curiosity, out since of curiosity. I'm uh, I'm unfamiliar with those of your kind, uh, what what are you? How dare you? <laughs> what are you? I, did I walk into the I, racist part of town? I'm a wood elf. I'm just unfamiliar with you, and I'm very curious. I'm a, I'd like to, I'm. I'd like to know what's going on in the world. Does it matter what I am? All these people out and about. I see racism hasn't left this world for however long I've been here. How many years is it? Seriously, what the fuck years is it? He <laughs> leads in again. <laughs> I'll tell you the year, but I do, I would like to know. Oh, you want to make a deal? I'm thinking about it. I'll think about oh, it. Oh, God. I'll sit on it. Anybody get any, any better offers? Anybody just want to tell uh, me? Uh, uh, 12. Sorry. 12. <laughs> Why did we start? Is there another second coming of God? No, no. All right, no. No one, no one said anything. Normally, last time that happened, it was. It's all right. <laughs> Your own silence. He, he lost track of whatever the fuck the conversation was. So, what do you guys want to do? As he's just staring right now. So what? What are? What are you planning to do out of curiosity? What's your what's your intentions? I don't you just break know. you you break into our our residence was, at the for the time being. Well, when there's a monster, I thought genuine people would help you. Did you look out the window, the eyes right there in the Rams like. <laughs> oh! I mean, oh! I mean, why do you why do you think we're in this tower? Well, so you are a man of the people. This is very good. We can yeah. hide from the monster inside. And then we, you know, it is... We're, we're still currently strategizing how to get away from okay. following them. Well, they say one of the easiest things to do is take whatever's most valuable on your person and fucking throw it the other direction you're going to run. It gets him literally every time. As you can see, he took all my shit. I don't have anything to throw in the other direction anymore. Yeah. I Why would he take you? Why? I told because I'm great! I must oh. interject. Why are you great? Who is giving you this title? Many people have given me this title. I've heard Name so one, people. please. One person, <laughs> Giladar. He was terrific. You are making up names. Sure. Yeah, I, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> My laughter is not giving away if that's true or not. It's funny because of the fucking conversation. <laughs> how dare you? This is a you. Ah, yeah, I could. I had a you feeling come in the, after the pretty ones you, are always vile and rude. On you the walk inside. into our residence. Here we are again. Ask us for your help, but you aren't offering us anything. I offer you many things. The you offered us of your name, and that was it. You never answered my question. Which question? I was curious as to what what net race you belong to i am a, it is so i am i am a wood elf I don't you can care. see we have a few humans here we have tellius 
<laughs> Look, I have a lot of Wood Elf friends, okay? <laughs> Clearly, we can't be that. <laughs> this is our this is our lizard friend, man. <laughs> I don't didn't right. actually say that That's last strange. one. And and also, oh, it seems oh, that whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my, you come oh in here and you no you accuse him of racism, racism, and then you call him strange. Yes, My well, goodness, yeah, sir. yeah, you're great at insulting people. What Probably he, opens then? the door. Mister, so obsessed with race. <laughs> what is he? Pointing him what out as strange and call me strange, rude for calling him strange. How dare you all? How dare? You? I don't know what he is, but I don't treat him differently for that. I don't, I don't call him you. strange. You okay. didn't even ask my name. Oh, you did ask my name. You dumb. The second thing you <laughs> asked The first me. thing we asked you. And then you asked me what I was, judging me by yes. the skin of my fame. No, so, I'm just curious. <laughs> I like to know things. So, like, halfway through that, Miles was just going to sigh <sighs> and just walk outside. <laughs> As you walk hey, outside. Monster, don't get out there. You see the, the, ramps, monster. the ramps just... Oh, uh, it's better than this. <laughs> the ramps just looking at you. He's like... You don't want to go in there. It's like hell of darkness, but you want to fucking get it out of here. As I'm picking up one to throw down, he's just like, no. So, like, I'm going for a walk. Like, I'm, I'm walking. <laughs> and just following you at this point, he's like, oh, That's fine with me. Throw it away. Your friend is a ooh, genius. What ooh, a great sacrifice ooh. he made. What is his name? I remember him forever. Etch him in the journals of great. As you see, like, summons this, like, scarlet of paper out. And he, <laughs> and he starts writing on it. And as he's writing, Ch Chuck he, the like, Magnificent. Blow and all this. Chuck the Magnificent. That is not my name, but I will. I will no, that's his name. name. You asked for his Chuck name. Chuck the Magnificent? Yes. What a glorious name. Of legend. I did not know Chuck survived. Is this yes. an ancestor of the mighty Chuck the Magnificent? Oh my God. Uh, he is a reincarnation it's, of Chuck. A, a descendant, I think you mean. Oh. Descendant of Chuck! Direct lineage. Like, Chuck, that fucking asshole. Good. I'm glad the Rams were <laughs> <laughs> As he continues. Meanwhile, as he's talking about me sacrificing myself. Hey, you want to build a snowman? You see the Ram? Darkness as it sits down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build a snowman. I think I think we might have a moment though, since our, our our great friend led this sacrifice. We might have a moment to make a break for it and escape. Yes, <laughs> definitely. We, we can all do that at once. Let's do that. All right, let's go. And I'll all start, right, I'll after up, you, I'll get up and move to the door. All right, he's following right behind you to the door. I'll, I'll open the door and I'll he, walk out. He closes the door behind him. Okay, there's two outside now that the ram can get, and he locks the door too behind. Obviously, probably gonna open it up. He doesn't know that. I open the door because no, no, I have a. <laughs> it's like it's it's fucking locked at the moment. You're like, I know. I have a. <laughs> <laughs> At baseline, my yeah. pickpocketing ability oh, yeah. is, um, let's see, so there's a basic skill check, that would be a, uh, 25, uh, passive. Any lock? <laughs> Any lock? Um, I mean, I don't know if Raleigh has a lock, I, I assume this is magical a, a I, Well, I don't know if she, I don't think the lock is technically magical unless I cast Arcane Lock. It, no, 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 so. but that's what I'm asking. Can you do that to normal magical locks? If it's, it's like... Lock, it's a lock. If it's, a, if it's mechanically locked, yes. If it's like, has a magic enchantment over it, then no. So, you definitely know it's on the outside. This motherfucker just cast a spell as you left the door, and he definitely did <laughs> Arcane Lock. <laughs> like, uh, as he okay. as he does that, then because I'll probably notice him doing that. Uh, I'm gonna uh, say. Uh, what's, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, hey, do you have something for buttons? Nope. He, he needs buttons in the middle. His tongue comes out, and you see Hold on a three, like medallions uh, on its tongue. That don't do. I'll I'll walk I'll walk up the wall and go in through a window upstairs, but <laughs> down the stairs. 
<laughs> I'm just like, excuse me, that was very I, rude of you. You're, you're still walking, as he has oh. before with everybody else, but yes, you are doing that right now. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have much time left. It's out there. If it's a probably already eating your friend, it's going to be coming back. He'll be there. What do we do? What's the play? Look, I'm sorry, but did you just lock the door on Eri? No, definitely not. Eri, <laughs> did he lock the door? I'm not in the He's room yet. He's not there yet. Oh, and he's not that. No, okay. he hasn't come back. He's coming. It's gonna take him a few minutes. When to he gets here, yeah. I'm gonna have that conversation with Eric. <laughs> All the I'm ignoring this guy until Eric gets back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like hard staring at Ulazar right now. Like, what? What is what? I feel like I've seen something like you before. Uh, do you remember the end result of the broken tilt cave, Ralia? Uh, yes. The what did he what cave? Um, I feel like he has something to do with that. Hey, hey what are we talking about? Uh, hey, well, there was always the beginning where those things were trapped, um, and then we had the people <laughs> in the end. <laughs> do you mean the people that were trapped inside those boxes, or do you mean the people that were with, uh, like, sees a Dekna? curtain and he's like, can I put this shit around me? Fuck it, fuck it. I believe <laughs> the, um, the ones that were with, um, Vecna, yes. Do you recognize him you, from there? When you or say you that, you hear him go, hey, uh, what did you just say? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I don't know. Do you feel like giving us answers now? Maybe we, we can share. We can share. That's what I've been saying the whole time. It's got to be give and take here. No racism now that we don't have that clagging up the room. I'd be happy. Ooh, I have an idea. Let me tell you. That. That. <laughs> that was, you know, that was very rude of you. Ah, ah, you didn't <laughs> die terrific. This is great news. Great yes. news. You, you, how did you, is he not out there? That's great. Terrific. All right. Wonderful. Happy you're back. So where does this so, leave us? I'm gonna go, like, mess with the door to try and get it open from the inside. Um, it is definitely an arcane lock at this point, so I don't know how you, Ari, would get rid of an arcane lock. I, I wouldn't, I would just try to yeah, you're just, you're mess with it. And you're just like, what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> like, you clearly unlocked it, but the door's not opening. Like, you're twisting the handle. Yeah. Like, I don't, this is dumb. <laughs> so... So. We know your name, but we don't know why the Ram had you, or why you're here, or what you're going to do. But we do know that you're willing to just throw us to the wolves, so to speak. How dare you? I did not throw him to the wolves. He left on his own accord, out into the cold. He, th he threw me to the goat. I threw the, the goat, did yes. indeed, and I made it very clear I was not going back outside there with the goat that has imprisoned me for so many years. What year is it? Could you... Uh, anyone... Anyone have a clue what year it is? I told you, 12. It's definitely not 12. I can tell you're lying to me. I'm very good at You do not anything. know anything. I'm telling you, 12 is correct. Mm. It is. It's most certainly 12. Yes. What year was it? Do when you have you any information to contradict that? No. Then why do you seem so sure that we're wrong? Because I know when someone's lying, you can hear your heartbeat change. What? That's the most idiotic thing I've heard. You're worried. That is the most idiotic thing. You're worried right now. I'm right. Can I drop my spell? Which Galder's spell? Tower. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh no, it's so cold out here. And oh no, you see the ram? He's over there. The whole tower drops. You're like, oh fuck! As the tower drops. <laughs> I whistle. Wait, I wait. whistle as loud as I can the, for the, the ram. The ram is just sitting there with you, Mosnell. You guys have just finished your snowman. You're very do, large and impressive. You literally like you have have such a sweat to like. <laughs> you had to make it as big as possible Good. because that's how. Oh, of course. <laughs> cool. yeah, help me with the head. Help me with the head. And he's made a very small ram. In contrast, oh my God, so you have your giant thing that definitely looks like misshapen. The center is bigger than the top and the bottom, <laughs> so it's definitely fucked up in some senses. But it's got mm -hmm. the stuff that's there, and it's all laid out. And the ram just like nodding to you, and the, the tower falls, and you see the ram like Orcus. What'd you say? It's a depiction of Orcus. Yeah. 
Hail the he's, darkness. If a goat so could bad. laugh, it would be laughing right now. <laughs> 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 he likes it. This comic pleases the ram. <laughs> the ram will remember this. <laughs> oh, you see the tower fall, and you. Uh, so as you're whistling, it's like, ah, whose side are we on here? The ram's gonna take all of you, and you'll be its precious. Fuck! And it just starts running into the snow away from the location. If you want to be safe, I propose that you start answering our questions truthfully. I have been nothing but truthful to each and every one of you as he stops in the snow a little bit. Tell you what, give me some money, and I'll leave. <laughs> what? What do you got? Oh. So now you're robbing us. No, just... <laughs> you want me out of your hair? Give me some shit, and I'll go. Before I mean, I'll, we back. just need to wait another five minutes, and the ram will walk over and get you out of our hair. Fucking no! <laughs> Hell the no. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to this creature. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna grab him by the by like the jacket he and just be like, Hell the naked. darkness! He's just walking naked, naked, so you're grabbing his oh. hand. I'm just grabbing his wrist then. Yep. And I'm just like, Hail the darkness! <laughs> Give me a, a sight of hand ch- check. Actually, right, it'd be your perception against this sight of hand. 25. Mm-hmm. Seven. Whoa. Uh, he goes in your pocket, takes out a fucking handful of coin. Uh, you can remove two platinum, uh, ten gold, and if you have any silver, he'll take like one or two silver. I have zero platinum, oh. ten gold, and fifty silver. He takes ten gold, 20 silver. Takes that shit right out of your pocket, and he just like, fuck this. And as you see him take the, he just crushes it in his hands a little bit, and he teleports. He casts a teleport spell. Counter spell. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh. <laughs> Eighth level. So rude. You see him. Oh! Rude. He's re- Give me another side of hand check. <laughs> uh, that, no, if he if he touched me, I would have backed away at that point. You grabbed his hand. He just went in your pocket and took your shit. Yeah, I know. Okay. And then I saw him try to cast a spell with a bunch of coins that he got out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. So you see, like, <laughs> ah, ah, vile little woman. You are vile. I knew it from the moment I let eyes on you. Is this the guy who's trying to steal from us will not answer our questions? What is your problem? Amazing, I swear. Hail the darkness, get over here, Ram. Oh, Hail the darkness, back to fucking... idiot. I swear I'm back inside the uh, conservative news right now. This is just ridiculous, the way they keep spinning these things. And he's slowly <laughs> backing away. That's fucking, fucking... He goes on the snow, he's like, yeah, I can pick it. Starts rolling up a snowball and pokes two eyes on it and just like... <gasps> And you see the snow start coming to life. He's like, yes, 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 yes. yes and the thing falls, he's fucking shit. And he turns around <laughs> and he just starts running. And no uh, um, It's the random. I'm, I'm, like, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to shoot an arrow mm-hmm. Brett, the, to catch their attention with the snowmen. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shoot an arrow just into Mosnell's thing. Mm-hmm. So that it, so the body just like explodes because <laughs> the force damage. Sure. <laughs> and just be like, hey, he's running away, Ram. You see the Ram? Hell mm. of darkness. Your the Ram looks visibly disappointed that your fun is over together. You guys oh, were wow. having a really good time. He's <laughs> like, hail the darkness, and an alchemy circle comes up, and you see uh, this mm, like. How would I put it? Think the from Avatar, the weird like anteater thing, but instead of the anteater face, it's like a cyberus head comes out, <laughs> comes out and just starts <laughs> sprinting. <laughs> and you see the ram being like, "Hail the darkness!" And, like seeing if you want to hitch a ride back on him. Yeah, sure. All right, you go up on the antlers and you're like, "I've never <laughs> been this high before. This is fucking amazing." As you guys are walking your way back to camp, the rest of you see this massive creature, all four legs, just going oh through the snow towards where the uh, 
the creature is running away from. And you can hear this like, Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slowly walk towards the I'm ram. stepping the, aside. The ram comes to the camp, and you can see the creature uh, returns to, uh, about 20 minutes later. Uh, as the ram, Mazel gets down, the ram's just sitting there, and the creature comes over. And you can see the individual bleeding to death in the mouth of the, the thing it summoned. And you see that ram going like, Hail the darkness. And then just like, Bleh! And just goes into the um, the alchemy yeah. circle, the other one. And then the ram looks at him and he's just like, I fucking hate you. And it's like, Hail the darkness. As the alchemy circle goes underneath <laughs> him, he's like, God damn it, no. no. Before, he, before he gets taken, I want to shout. Next time you get freed, maybe you answer the questions. Eat shit, as he goes <laughs> into the alchemy circle. Well, yeah, no, that guy was definitely evil. I don't know how, but he was he was giving. Oh, I was prepared to dimension. What even was it? Back I back inside. I just legitimately I, wanted to know. I'm not sure. It I couldn't mean. was all. Now that it's gone. Remind you of that guy that kept trying to make a deal with you inside those crystals. Oh, he—he he was a devil. He was a hundred percent a devil. Oh, oh, he's a devil. Uh. Yeah. Wow. We are. Ooh. Wait. Well, at least the, ra- the ram that. seems to have a uh, amalgamation of these. So. <laughs> the ra- uh, so you have. <laughs> you have literally no idea. Or did Ralia go into the the ram's home dimension? Out of the library, I think uh, Mosnell yeah, did. So. I did. I was, was, was there. Yeah. <laughs> it was only me and Ma. I'll just be like, Thanks, you yeah. have literally no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. And with that, so DM. Yeah. If I were to cast a fine steed spell, yeah, would it summon this ram? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That is all. Okay. Can Shalmir and Tellius both do it at the same yeah. time? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a fight over him. Fine, fine, we can do a or the fine steed. I summon my steed. You see the ram looking over to him? I just spits up a fucking horse. <laughs> oh. Oh, a live one as it eats the fucking horse back. <laughs> um, all right. Anyway, you guys, um, during your journeys, there's a few nights that you do have um, a crystal show up beside when you wake up in the morning. Tullius, if you want to do anything with that, that is your choice. Uh, I punch it. All right. <laughs> uh, like. That's Just Talius or near other people too? That'll answer his fucking question. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You I'm thought you could talk. know the answer. <laughs> I know. Uh, so I love how you answered his question by moving us to it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fix your fucking wagon. The ones you hear, uh, Another the messages from Melody are as follows. I even forgot about you for a time. I'll never forgive myself for that. That was until I reaped an individual who opened my eyes again. I think the and then on another one from another night. I think the Raven Green Queen grows suspicious of me. I'm only trying to help, but deities are so fickle. They believe they always know what's right, blinded by their arrogance. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave you with those two for now. That is all. That's all. Just that she's still trying and the Raven Queen's like, hmm, <laughs> weird. Yeah. Give it more time. More stuff will come. Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave me a few hours of entertainment today. I didn't know it came out. I believe, yeah, yeah it came out last week, I think. Really? And I believe it's yeah, just it's, been it's, sharing it. It's been out for about like a week. What is? Tasha's. Mm-hmm. Oh. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I actually just solved D&D in that, that yeah, last it, thing there. <laughs> he won D&D! Yeah. Um, 
And I was also wondering, I was like, and I wonder if the goat has ever been asked to just like, hey, you want to play? <laughs> Probably. Probably, yes. yeah. We certainly bonded with you, Maz, now. Do you, do you want pets? <laughs> this is how you get pets. I'd love a, a magical pet ram, to be honest. That's in, invulnerable to everything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he's not a pet. He's a companion. You're yeah. right. <laughs> like, he's, he's no there's pet. No, there's no fucking way we have any sort of domestication over no. him. <laughs> I like to think of him as a, a walking wheel of fortune. You know? You'll never know what you're going to get when you spin the wheel. Never, never know. Sometimes, sometimes you get orcas. Sometimes you get gems. I got yep. chocolates, but Timmy got orcas. I don't sometimes know. you get just a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know. <laughs> So That's you guys, finally, after about... Um, wow, our wrist procession was so good that I six, destroyed the DM. Six weeks of uh, travel time gets you to full moon point. We did it! Hey. Yeah, we beat the indeed. Yeah, he's busy. Uh, the, the crystal? Yeah. It's probably gone now. Did it show up for anybody else, or was it just him? No, okay, no, that's no. what I was asking. I know, and I never it was answered yet? by us leaving. Oh my not god. For you. I can you not for you. So, you guys uh, come in front this of this have... very tall tower that has all sorts of... It looks abandoned. It looks... Put your... Uh, you gotta, you gotta, gotta set up the stream again. The, uh, stream, buddy. Nope. Um, it's this very tall tower. It is, uh... You're still not streaming. Us. What? Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> now I see what you're saying. You may be recording, but we, you are not streaming. Gotcha. Thank you. Gotcha. Appreciate We're it. Back. There you go. Um, it's a very tall tower. It's rusted, and you can... Well, not rusted. It's cracking, and you can see all this, uh... The ground is extremely hard and it's all rock. It's on the cliff shear that goes uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet down into the ocean. It is on the shore are all these spikes down there, uh, frost spikes. You do see the symbol of uh, the frostborn above the doorway and the archway of the tower. If you click on full moon point, you can see exactly what the tower looks like. As just as, as a an aside, uh, in most of the evenings, I was going to be keeping an eye on the moon because I know we have to we have to have a full moon to enter. So I wanted to see if we missed it or if we uh, are coming up on one, just so we have an You're idea. Coming of, up on if one, we but it's probably going to be about two days by the okay. time you guys get here because you end up speeding up time and all of that. So. Yeah, got here early for just to hurry up and wait. So. Yeah, we might. We're probably gonna have to wait around for a little bit. Um, there's still the next full moon. I think is a couple days, is a few days out from now. We're not quite there yet, and I don't think we missed one. Oh, it's good that we made such a good time. Is there a, is there a door on the tower? Yeah, I mean it's wide open. You can just walk right into the door at the moment. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll go up to the door and just kind of put my hand there to see if there's like a magical barrier. Nope. Hand goes right oh. there. Okay. Let's go explore. Uh, this doesn't have any resemblance to the description from the girl we met earlier, right? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Nope. As you guys walk in, it is like a level floor. There is fucking nothing inside here. It looks like there's um, some of the cracks in the wall uh, have spots for windows that see out to the shores on the sides. It resembles that of a condemned house. And the door opposite, you guys, you can actually see a uh, frostborn star. And it looks like the center of it is hollowed out. And uh, the rest is just... And that's probably off the ground in front of you guys as soon as you walk in. Probably about 12 feet Um and the rest of the room is just 
fucking decay. It's just rock structure. There's no, there's not actual decay. It's just been abandoned. It's on the shoreline. You can see some of the salt in the air definitely gets in here and is eroding away at full moon point. Mm. Follow the star, probably, right? Yeah. Is it dark in here or no? Yeah, I mean, it's midday, so like in the sense of like it's dark, like you just walked inside. There's only a few light sources, and it looks like the only light sources are coming from uh, two windows on either side and the little hole that's in the middle of the star that seems to be the opposite side of the uh, right. full moon point. I'll use the drift globe I have. Yep, and it illuminates the room, and again, it's uh, just, just out of curiosity, I'm going to take out the Lantern of Revealing mm -hmm. and turn it on, and just kind of walk around the room to see what lights up. Um, you see by the star that's on the wall, there seems to be all these different arcane glyphs that are now revealed underneath it, and on the floor beneath you, there appears to be a passageway, and above you. Okay. You see anything? I mean, it it shows up for everyone. It, it's oh, not okay. just me. Yeah. Any arcane okay. glyphs that I see, I'm gonna go try to decipher. Sure, give me an arcana check. Easy. That is a twenty-four. Uh, yeah, this is clearly uh, arcane ciphers that unlock doors. Type of magic. They are a conditional statement waiting for a condition to be met to unlock a door. Or relay that to everybody. So we need a full moon, is what I assume. That's that's all we were told. Alright, makes sense. Checks out. We're in the right spot. So we got a few days to wait then. So I'll probably just... I might take Maznel and just explore kind of the Arctic area around it. Yeah. Go ahead and make an investigation check, the two of you. And the brisk cold, the higher altitude, the thinner air, uh, with the sea as well. Ooh. It's it's a wonderful atmosphere, but it's also definitely that grisly northern feeling. 21. This place is unremarkable. Uh, it has been a ton of erosion. It doesn't seem like anything visits up here. It is definitely a relic of the past. And as they explain to you this was the landing point of the Frostborn from the Frost Waves where they made their first uh, uh, their first settlement and it was in this small tower so I mean nothing else man everything else uh, about this is just frozen wasteland but it's not so much Sinbarian snow it's definitely that mix of like rock and ice um, I kind of want to just explore the tower with my cloak, just like walking up the outer walls and stuff and mm -hmm. seeing what I can view. As you peek in the outer walls and the cracks of it, uh, you just see empty chambers, nothing inside. Uh, it looks like it's decaying and there is uh, nothing of interest or value. Okay. I'll probably kill a bunch of time, just like trying to see if I can figure out any actual form of communication with the ram, even though I know it's probably a futile effort. <laughs> Give me a performance check. <laughs> Ooh! Natural one for a three. As you try to communicate with the ram, you're trying to figure out some system, your nerves begin to grate as every response is just hail the darkness. Uh, you don't make much progress. The ram looks bummed that you gave up so soon, but <laughs> just like, I get it. Hail the darkness. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Anybody else, anything you're doing in the next two days, the rest of you that you guys want to do? Uh, Raleigh is just going to be com like familiar with the area. Just take it into her mind so that sure. she understands that if it comes to it that she can get back here when Absolutely. necessary. Yeah, it's easy enough to do. With two days of time, there's no role in it. Anybody else want to do anything? 
cast some meteors for him and destroy the tower. <laughs> now what you Wait do? a second, <laughs> you're not a wizard or yeah, a hold sorcerer? Hold on a second. <laughs> As the I actually passed, took the... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As the days pass, you guys kill time. The moon comes out on the second night, and right at midnight, the moon lines up perfectly with the star. The moonlight cuts through the star, and you can see the arcane glyphs light up, and both the stairs, the door that was revealed on the bottom and on the ceiling, both open up. Shall we go down or up? I would prefer to go up. Let's go up. Let's go up because then we can walk down the up, you know what I mean? So it's like less legwork. There's no stairs to go up, so you'll have to manage some way to go up. You could always throw Spidey Boy up, but there's... <sighs> all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, like, go up there and then lower a rope down. Raleigh will also cast uh, Spider Climb from her spider staff that she has. <laughs> sure. The two of you go up, and as you climb into it, you do find... There looks like there's already uh, anchored in the ground when you guys get to a flat surface. Uh, what do they call those? Uh... Like, mountain like climber, ladder? no oh. mountain climber, uh, like basically fisheye screws in the ground for you to loop a rope through. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! They're already in there, so you guys are able to do that and lower ropes for the rest of you guys to climb up into this area. What you notice too is inside this area, the this is not what you perceived when you looked in from the outside. It seems to be different. Different. Yeah. I'll probably, for the time being, keep my lantern of revealing turned on. I've got a fair amount of oil that I've stocked up on, so... And if uh, Aerie reveals anything, Ralia will run up to it and try to decipher it. I'll uh, so, take up the rear with my globe. So, yeah. 30 foot bright light, additional 30 foot dim light, anything in the bright light, invisible creatures or objects are revealed. You see a bunch of these, like, hovering blue uh, auroras of light. You can hear these, like, high-pitched giggles as the light shines, and you see them, like, peer off they just through this area. Um, what you do see are tables, and uh, it looks like a fair bit of maps inside here. Uh, it looks like the place has been really well cleaned out and picked through. There's writings and carvings of the uh, Frostborn Faith on here. It's very generic. It's very similar to what you guys saw inside the books uh, when you visited the Oracle. Uh, that artistry is on here. There does seem to be stairs that go up further. The lights disappeared into. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the area itself is all stonework. It looks like this was a more formal area that's been picked clean pretty well. There's some chairs, what would look like yeah. to be a fireplace, uh, a be workbench of sorts in one area. There's not much here. Is there My, anything that mentions the Codicil of White? Go ahead and make an investigation check. My thought is that we're probably not going to find anything in the upper portions. It's probably the lower portions that are the more dangerous and hidden. So 21. No mention of a Codicil of White, but with a 21, um, I'd say you find one of the uh, old scraps of paper inside here that's wedged. It looks like it got, like, plucked from uh, a book. It's a piece of mm. paper that's caught inside one of the workbenches here. Can I read it? Yeah, sure. Um, as you unfold it, it's an Elvish. So do you know Elvish? I don't, but I will cast Detect, or whatever it is, uh, Comprehend Languages. I'm going to cast this for ten minutes instead of asking my friend to read it for me. This is mine. Yep. I found it. <laughs> hey, he's yep. busy. He's looking at other things. Yep. After ten minutes, uh, you recognize the language and now, and you see it. It's a, uh, a, a list of items on here, and it seems to be like an inventory of sorts. Uh, one of the names that sticks out to you in particular at the top uh, says Crescent Dawn. 
at the top of it. Uh, some of the other things describe vases, artifacts of note, and... Uh, Isn't that the name of Brian's sword? And at the bottom, there oh, is yeah. a like um, an inventory number at the bottom of it. Uh, I will bring that up to Ari, and I will say, uh, can you make anything of this? Uh, kind of odd, no? Um... I'll look through it. That speaks to me more like an archaeology excavation rather than whoever the place, the caretakers here, were. like like a list of what they've found so far. Is I that is, that's my thought? Does it seem like that's accurate? Well, the you sing that out loud. Spikes. The climbing spikes were already here, so it stands to reason that you know we didn't get here first, so they came through. And- I I th- I guess I'm more looking at the parchment and gauging off. Does it seem like it's a very very old parchment, or does it seem like it's more recent? That might speak to being part of the excavations. Well, I did find it uh, wedged in this workbench, so I... eighteen. Yeah, definitely. It just doesn't seem at all in comparison. Yeah, because I know. I, I I imagine the Crescent Dawn comes out because that's Brian's sword. Mm-hmm. Does anything else come out to me, catch my mm-hmm. eye? Not really. It just seems like a lot of uh, anthropology type of shit. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. this. I think this might be just a, a list from the archaeology teams that have come out here. Just what they might have uncovered. Should I ask me. my friend who's been up here? I can send a message real quick. Sure, I'll hand him the list. Right. Uh, hey, Lyris. <laughs> uh, full moon points. Uh, do you have any knowledge of the area? We're snooping. Snooping. Yes. We'll get back to you about other stuff. We cleared out the top of the tower. Sorry we left something behind. Hope you're well. Right, so uh, Elias and his team actually cleared out the top half of this area. Hmm. So Odd to I me suspect. that uh, he would leave something behind. Uh, I understand he is a very great uh, archaeologist, historian. Yes. I'm quite meticulous. Uh, this this doesn't match his handwriting when you look at it. Uh, uh, okay. I do not believe this is his handwriting. He's quite meticulous about those things. Maybe a team member of sorts. Ah, yes. Uh, perhaps even uh, a previous archaeologist yes. that he yeah, exactly. uh, uncovered. He, he Regardless, we can be on our toes. You know, they could have missed something. I think you saw the picture, Tullius, of Eulyris with all the drows and Brian. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You were in Skoberheim. You guys saw that. No, someone did. Yeah. Wait a minute. The other team did. Mosnell yeah, saw did. that. Mosnell yeah. saw that. You know. Like I say, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I just know that he's Mosnell been up here. I just know that, that he's like an archaeology, anthropology yeah. dude. That's all I know. Yeah, there's a fucking picture of him framed... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he's got the Milo Thatch yeah, picture. Thousand percent. <laughs> thousand percent. Um, I would probably still just with the lantern of revealing look to see if there's any hidden things. Sure, please. Possibly yeah. just do it. Just kind of a quick run through as much as I can in the upper portions. You mean investigation check? Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you're not seeing much, but as you get to about the second floor, uh, you get pelted in the head with a snowball. Mm-hmm. I look around. Don't see anything. Hello? Did you just hear those giggles again? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, once I kind of do a little clear through, I'll come back downstairs and say, all right, shall we, shall we go down to the lower portions? Well, it sounds like the top portion is cleared out, so I don't see why not. I wasn't picking up much with the lantern. Another snowball whizzes by Ares' head in the background as he's talking to you guys from the the uh, 
the steps. You all see it, uh, he doesn't. <laughs> Is there snow in the area? No. Oh. Where did that come from? <laughs> I think there might be some spirits that are kind of playing pranks or something. This is my kind of place, then. Hopefully, they're nice. I caught, I caught the just the edge of edges of them, and I've I've been hearing giggles. And you guys, were, oh yeah, that it, it has sounded like giggles occasionally in here. Hmm. <laughs> so I think there might be some a spirit or spirits of some sort or some entity. Hey, uh, oh wise and great spirits of this area. Uh, would you like to have a snowball fight with me? <laughs> Four snowballs hit you in the fucking face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I, I wasn't ready! <laughs> There's, you can see these blue shimmers across the room and laughter, childlike laughter erupting as uh, snowballs keep <laughs> like, materializing out of these floating, basically, diamonds that are just throwing shit at you. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> I don't have any snow, it's not fair. <laughs> you see, um, the entire floor just glazes over with snow now, and you guys are all like knee deep in packing snow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll just start making snowballs and throwing them. Yeah, go ahead, roll it for some snowball attacks. Was that like an You're gonna kill them! Uh, 11. <laughs> 11. Uh, he passes right through it. 25. <laughs> that one. Makes contact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you see one get hit, you hear other ones start shouting with laughter even more. Excellent. Tony, <laughs> keep rolling. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, the snowballs start Two. going everywhere, hitting everybody. The entire demeanor. Oh, another one down. Two are down. <laughs> you see, you start hearing the other two being like, he's good. It's like, wait a minute. He's got a star. He's one of us. As they start. <laughs> <to> <laughs> <back> <laughs> I solved it. <laughs> And just 19. like, ah, no, I knew he'd be good. As they keep uh, throwing stuff back and forth. <laughs> 19. 19 hits. You see another one go down. It's like, oh, no. Oh, he's he's just like the last one. He's uh, he's too good. Uh, do I hear this? Or yeah, is it, all of you hear this. Oh, this is oh, absolutely word. happening in front of all of you. Uh, just you guys are okay with me hitting these, right? This seems like a good thing. Yeah, no. I mean, got, maybe they can get they can maybe they can point us in the right direction. You never know. Uh, if I if I win this battle, uh, uh, I hope that you'll be able to uh, keep having fun with me, and you know guide us through this area as I throw one for twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> as you hit the last one. Um, you see the four lights start coming towards you, and um, as they come to the center of the room, the snow dissipates, and you can see the uh, spiritual outlines of what looks to be uh, young children with the Frostborn star on their uh, on their like clothing. Nice. Uh, hello. Uh, I am Hi, Terry. Hi. There's Hi. There's uh, two girls, two boys. Um, all of them have really short hair. It looks like they're almost all buzzed in the same way, in the same type of uh, style. And uh, you see one of them looks to you and just like, you're way better than the last guy. You're amazing. Who was the last guy? He, he looked just like you, and he was a real pain in the ass. Uh, I'll disguise self into Deldrick? You see that one? No, 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 no. He didn't look like that. He was, uh, he was like, uh, more, uh, oh, what, what, what do you call it? It's like, it's, it's, it's like I'm, uh, the other one goes like a mix between, like, mulberry and, and like, and, and ginger orange. And the other one Does just that like, mean anything to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're saying kitty so. bullshit that is just like, oh no. Oh no, we're oh, losing the kids. I forgot my we're colors. Losing the kids. Oh, I they're, forgot they're, my they're colors. They're saying nonsense words. Stop, kids. Where did the criminal go, kids? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so not this one. Uh, right, well, uh, I'm flattered to hear that I'm so much better than him. Way um, better, and they're like totally better. You guys live here? Yeah, been here for a long time. 
just waiting you for wanna... mom and dad to get back, and then we're going to be off to it. Do you want to give me a tour while uh, your parents are out? Yeah! And they fucking run up the stairs. Um, as you go up, you can see that there is all these, like, uh, now visible, all these different uh, bedroom sets, and they all have these uh, pretty basic, it's not, like, extravagant whatsoever, and but they feel like this is the king's house. They are so thrilled to be having this stuff. Um, you see them pointing around. She's like, this is my favorite dolly. And it's just like a, a f- permafrosted fucking awful scraping of a creature. It's like, this is the best one. But I also love this one, which is just like literally a circle. Right. Just a um, block. I'll, uh, I'll do a minor illusion uh, to put like a smiley face on the circle. <gasps> do you like so it better now? This. I like him so much better. Now they're equal in my love. I think you. <laughs> certainly quite nice. What else do you guys have in here? You see, he's just like, well, I have, you know, well, my dad said to keep us safe, and he has this, like, ethereal little wooden sword, and just, like, in case anybody comes, we'll stop him. That looks uh, almost as sharp as mine as I pull mine out. As you pull yours out, uh, Looking at his sword, it resembles the style of the Valkyrie sword that uh, Terra carries. Um, it's not as long or big, but there is clear style. details that looks. Like it's like <laughs> that's a that's a miniature version knockoff. What the fuck is that? Shit? <laughs> okay. Um. Your, your father told you to keep this safe. Absolutely. Could I uh, take a look at it real quick? Sure. Thank you. He hands it over to you, and as you hold it, um, it forms into just oh. a, a wooden sword in front of you. It just it comes in from ethereal into reality. That was the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Did you guys see that? Did you? Whoa! so cool as the kids start running about and shit i'm talking to my friends like i know they're guys they're taking uh, care for it. <laughs> you, any of you that follow telly is up are seeing this unfold and you can perceive the children as well yeah that's uh it's very unusual it's very interesting well these spirits seem to be quite innocent and friendly so i think we maybe we should just play along for now and uh explore i think that's wise yeah, they, they don't seem to be uh, hostile for now. And they seem to like me, so I guess I'll keep going. What's not to like? You're fun, he's good at snowball fights, and he follows hello. It's and, all in one. Wait, you know my goddess? Yeah, our goddess. As all of them oh. show the stars, and they're like, yeah! Uh, is it the same star? Theirs is the same as yours. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> Do you know somebody that goes by the name of the Frost Maiden? Hmm. Can't say I do. There's a lot of Frost people. I mean, we're all Frostborn. You see them all nodding. That's true. That's true. Okay. I'm sensing some gaps in the in the in the religious knowledge here. <laughs> I'm very. <laughs> <I'm teary. laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention in Sunday school, Tammy. Damn it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Do you have you ever explored below? Mm, we're not yeah, supposed to go basement. below. That's where all the adults go. That's um, where you're the one that came, looked like you went last time. Never saw him again. Interesting. Never came back to oh. visit. He said he would. Huh. I mean, we don't we don't have an unlimited amount of time. Group, we do have to make our way down before the full moon. Oh, sets. I hear all the kids like they're gonna leave just like the last one. Way to go, Eric. Well, we only have a short time we can visit you. The full moon yes. lets us in, but it's also the only way we can get out. Mm. This is true. Uh, I'll hand back the sword. Uh, it goes back to Ethereal as it hands back to the kid. If you like, I could make some mementos for you guys. So that you don't forget that we were here. Yeah, yeah, it's just like presents. One of them is like, I'll just make like some little, uh, let's see what I can do. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'll do. I'll take out some of the like from my box of like 
broken ice crystal shard things, mm -hmm. the really fragile ones. Yes. I'll try to find some that look, you know, like when you give a kid like some seashells, kind of trying to find like the best kind of shell. Similar situation, trying to find like the most crystalline shaped like shards that I can find for these kids. Okay. Easily enough to do. Yeah. These are very special to me, and I want you to keep these uh, and uh, remember that I was here. My name is Telius, and here you go. You see, they're all excited. Oh, thank you, thank you! And as it goes through to them, the shards, they reform into full stars as they go through to all the There you go. <laughs> and they're just like, whoa, how did he do that? Um, they do not appear fragile, and they are, the kids are thrilled with it now. Let's go! <laughs> Nice. Right. Um, all right. So, uh, do you have anything? Uh, is there anything else we should know about before we go downstairs, kids? Mm, I don't know. Adults didn't tell us much about downstairs. Just be careful. Very well. We shall be on our way. It was nice playing with you. It was. Come back anytime. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> all right, lads. Downstairs. Goes downstairs, and uh, with the door open, you go into a um, uh, an area f filled with mist covering the floor completely and entirely. As you walk down into the deeper part, uh, now behind you still f open. Uh, inside this area, it looks to be completely pitch black until your glow um, orb is inside here and anything else you guys are currently using that you've already described to me help illuminate the area again and it looks like similar to the chamber directly above you just with the level of smoke and it looks like to be another Frostborn star impacted into the wall. Is it Frostborn or Halal star? Uh, this one appears to be more Frostborn in, in its etching. It's kind of tough gotcha. to tell. You can't really get the like halal effects of the frosted star yeah. in stone. Gotcha. Well, uh, guess we're here. Do you see anything, Harry? I'm still the lantern out, walking around. There's no hidden. Uh, doors that are revealed walking around this room. Uh, okay. I, I, you know what? I'd say the one that there does appear to be a solid wall again behind the Frostborn Star, and that does seem to be a hidden door, and there are again arcane runes similar to the ones you saw upstairs. Is the door closed at the moment? Absolutely. And it's not a door, like, there's no handle or any bullshit. It's a brick. Is it's a wall. Is the full moon still out? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Ralia. Can you take a look at these, see if you can get an any idea about the... how this opens? Make an arcana check. Uh, I can try. Uh, 16. Low roll. I mean, similar to the one up top, but they're different, so it's tough to say exactly what it is. Um, the runes denote definitely the magic of opening and closing doors. Um, mm. With that roll, tough to tell more than that. I mean, it is a similar mechanism. I do not know what opens it, though. Um... Can I put my hand on it? On the brick wall? Talius, maybe you, since this is kind of your place. Yes, uh, I can certainly try. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just try. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do here. Um, <laughs> Looking through my spells right quick here. Thank you. 
Hmm. Can you describe it again? It's just a solid wall with the uh, indentation of a uh, uh, frostborn star on it. Oh, uh, it is fogged, and it, everything else seems utterly unremarkable. Okay, I'll just put my hand on the star and see if anything happens. Push on it gently. Um, your hand is goes into the grooves of the indentation of the star on the wall. Okay. Uh, if I push, does anything happen? Nope. Just feel rock. Solid rock. Right. What if I hold the ring I made up to it? Nothing? Nope. What if I hold the globe up to it and see inside the indentations? Is there anything in there? <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> Dolly is right. crazy with this wall right now, as you guys see. What are, what are the I am gonna use my hero action. Okay. He's a hero. 75. Oh. 75. Uh, 75 to 100. Um. Watch him hit the 1%. Oh, actually, that's 98. Yes, do okay. it. So, what do you want? Um, I was just looking to see, to call out to see if I could, uh, call out to either the God of Madness or Zaheer, <laughs> to get an idea of what the answer to opening this door might be. Um, not needing the God's help before you even cry out to them, you notice the fog on the ground seems to be emanating from a place in the floor. It seems to all be coming out of a particular area. I will go over and inspect that. Um, it's fog down there where it's coming from. I mean, what else do you do inspecting it wise? You look at it, you like, like, it's fucking foggy. I mean, is it like a hole that can be traversed? Do you put your hand through? Sure. Put your hand through and you, it goes below the floor. And as you go o under the floor, you feel something cold to the touch as you touch it. Oh, I'm gonna inspect that. Is it like a button or a lever or something? It feels fucking large is what it is, and it's really cold. It's doing a, a one point of frost damage every second you touch it. Ha! Uh, hey, Mosnell, can you uh, take a look at this? No good. <laughs> he wanders over and just sees... You just see fog, Mosnell. He's just... He's just put his there's, there's something underneath the fog. There's a hole, and there's something in it. But it's very, very cold. Okay. I put my hand in. Alright. Um, you put your hand in and you feel this large... It, it feels like ice. Um, mm. And to you, it is... Oh, it's okay. You're okay. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Can I do anything with it? What do you want to do with it? <laughs> See if I can push something or pull something or move something. Uh... As Anything. You try and get a grip with your big ass hands. You pull up, and as you pull up, um, you pull out what looks to be a frostborn star, and mist is continuing to come out of that as you uh, hold it in your hand. Uh, it's slowly maybe. forming at that level. The bottom level is still solid, but now it's just sort of. Maybe. Through. Maybe that goes in the wall. Yeah, I think we, maybe we have to push that, put that onto the door. Yep. I'm on my way. <laughs> Tell everybody. Okay. You Slowly pumping along. Can you put it in the door? Yeah. All right. Putting it into the door, you can hear this crack, and it sounds like the cracking of ice. And then the door slowly opens. In front, you see this altar. And on the altar, there is what looks to be... Uh, three shapes on the pedestal. One that has a star shape to it. One that has like a ball looking shape to it. These are indented into the altar. And one that seems to have a... Uh, pardon me, like a... Shit. What is that called? Diamond, diamond, diamond shape? Diamond shape, thank you. <laughs> is this uh, all like on the, the edge of the altar? It's not like on the top, right? No, yeah, it's all sides. below the altar. Um, there's also, like, it looks like a little plate 
on the altar, and it looks like a place on the altar where you would, like, rest paperwork or a book or anything like that on top. And you can see Lecture. this area is overlooking the cliff, and you can actually see outside, even though it appears like there's windows. There's no air coming into this area, and this is not visible from the outside. But you're overlooking the cliffs of uh, Full Moon Point. You can even hear the water and the waves crashing mm. against the shore. So something was supposed to be here. I'm going to use my lantern, and I'm going to look all around this area, too. Sure. As you're... Um, Looking around this area, it looks like this is a shrine of sorts, the Frostborn. And on inspection, you do see a carving inside what would be uh, Celestial. Does anybody speak Celestial? Does anybody speak this language? And I'll point it out. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Tell us, as he points it out to you, you can see written in the carving is... Uh, a, a little note that talks about uh, the path of the frozen star seeing through the blizzard and in the end you will always be guided by the codicil of white is what it says on there I'll relay that I don't know per se what that means but uh the room's now starting to fog up again, too, because you, you still have the fucking star. Like, it's in Mosno's hands now. The door opened, got the star back, and now you're just fogging up the room. Does... Will this star... Because one of the indentations was a star, wasn't it? It was. Will this fit on there? I don't know. Mosno, do you want to put it in? Mosno! Yeah. <laughs> do you want to put it in? Yeah, I'll put it in. All right, as Mosno puts it in... You can hear, like, these clicks, and you can actually see on top of the stand uh, of the altar the faint outline of a book that is titled The Codicil of White starts to appear. Uh, Ma can you take a look back in, the, in that hole from before, Mosmel? Are there other objects for each of these? Uh, I can look... And I'm going to look around this room as well to see if there's any any sort of items that might fit into these indents. I know how this oh, works. Help. You put the oh, square, help. you put the square block in the square hole, the circle. <laughs> block. It's working way better than the island already, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, I go back to the spot. Yeah, give me an investigation check for both of you. Total 20. 14. Um, 20. Looking around this room, uh, you do not find anything else out of the ordinary. Uh, Mosnell, with your 14. Um, checking the floor, the fog has begun to dissipate as it's now fogging up the other room in the mist. Um, you do notice two other doors have now appeared from the opening. Mechanisms from this door opening have caused other doors to appear. Like, they literally rolled this way, one of those actions. And cool. they both have star indentations on them. Oh, there's more doors. Nope. Right. I'll come back and... Alright, I think we gotta use that to unlock these yep. other doors, yep. maybe yep. to get the other items. That would yep. make sense. Yep. My thoughts. It's just water deep through the fuck ups. Every time. Franz and Tellius. Tellius is probably like, man, I've. This is so much smoother. Yeah. <laughs> Can I stay with you guys? <laughs> I gotta be honest, guys. Normally, it's not this easy with our, with our crew. <laughs> not since you liars left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since you liars yeah. left, it's been a scramble. Uh, we don't really know what we're doing. Uh, it's totally, it's totally the time. example of the smart kid did all the homework, and when he left, no one knew what the fuck to do. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll go back. I'll, I'll get the star and yep. open one of the other doors. Uh, while he's doing that, uh, Raleigh's going to go up to Ulazal and say, uh, just in case, uh, I don't know what we will face. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know what we will face, so maybe you should take this, uh, and she'll hand him the potion of cold resistance. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Um, that's a good idea. I can... I can protect someone from cold for a little while while I can concentrate on it. Mm. So, it might be good to have enough of that to go around. Um, you take it and you put it in the door as the door opens. You see stairways leading down into another area. Ooh. Alright. Heading down. Let's maybe... Can we check the other door to see if that leads to a downstairs area? Just to see. I guess we can. <laughs> go the other one. That door closes as you go to the other door and put this one in and that door opens up. Um... As uh, you look inside here, it looks like the stairs go a little deeper, and then they go to the left instead of to the right, like the other one did. So yeah. it does seem like it's going to a different direction. Opposite directions. Oh, we just have to. Do we well, just have to go the one path then. Yeah. Well, I'm not putting it back in that one. Let's just do this. Well, let's let's go this one first. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. <laughs> and begin delving into food and point. We got there. We did it. We did it. We did it.